Hey everyone, welcome to the Geek Culture Podcast, where we talk everything geek, from comics to video games to movies to toys to whatever we can think of. Join us each week when we come out of Vibranium Comics in Ocala, Florida, and talk about all things geek. Alright, so, 300? Let's yeah, yeah, yeah. What you got? When, okay, when I saw... Okay, wait, hold on, really quick. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. I'm Jason. Yeah. Oh. So when people, know, <laughs> yeah. I kind of want everybody to know who they, so you know you don't. They so don't bounce it off. Straight. Right, and nobody okay. knows who, so you can. Be we'll like, say oh, Jason's got a good point. That's not Jason talking. Just yeah. so you know, I'm Jason. I'm Troy. Uh, hey, I'm Mike. I'm Megan. David. Okay. So about three hundred. <laughs> three hundred. <laughs> okay. Yeah. When I saw three hundred. My first thought was, look at those capes. I hope this guy directs Superman. Someday. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. No. That was my... And I, I swear to you, that was my first thought. So so what you're telling me is that you basically wanted uh, Superman to just fucking chest kick Zod. I wanted That'd be awesome. everything I saw in that. This is Metropolis! I want this. <laughs> Those guys all died. <laughs> It was, it was the capes and the way it looked, and just the, the, way the he, shirtless Spartans. Yeah, the shirt. I wanted Superman to just go ahead and just have the red underwear, but like that. Please. Maybe that'll yeah, be it. Well. Yeah. Is that- that's it. I don't know. Okay, so that was a thought. I, I really, it was all about the capes, though, honestly. I was like, because, and we were, I think Superman Returns was either in production or it just happened or something. Mm-hmm. It was in production. It was yeah, in production. Like I think I had seen, yeah, yeah, I, think yeah, I had yeah. seen the suit, and it was like a shower curtain. It was awful. Like a brown roll, like a fruit roll up. And yeah. Left sitting in the sun for days. <laughs> so, anyway, so that was, it was the capes for me. So, I got my wish there. And when I saw American Psycho, My mutant power is great making good decisions for Hollywood and getting paid nothing. So do we have you to thank for Hugh Jackman's Wolverine? Nope. Well, that was shit. No, because I didn't see any Broadway. I didn't see any off-Broadway plays yeah. in Australia. <laughs> Broadway musicals. Good times. So You probably saw Brokeback Mountain. He's like, that's a gay-looking cowboy. Hey, oh. <laughs> I wanted him to show that. That's a sexy-looking joker. Yeah. That's exactly how it went down. <laughs> good for you, man. Yeah. Wow. I'll accept that one. Yeah, I mean, it's not real, but I'll accept it. We'll allow it. Yeah, you got to take it. Can't prove otherwise. Okay. Well, uh, while we're on the subject of 300, yeah. I did not think it was a good movie. I agree no. with you. Now, I, did you. now, why did you. The, the plot? Is that the it issue? It was just not. It was very visually pleasing. Yeah, it was cool. But yes. it, uh, uh, I didn't like. It was just. It was it was, just it was, it's better than the second one. The second one's just. The Rise of the Army. The second one is garbage. It's all good. I watched they, it the other day. They don't understand how boats work in that world, apparently. <laughs> boats so apparently, they're just like, hey, boats are just big wooden rams. water rams. Yeah, exactly. And then, <laughs> okay, well, if we do that to all our boats, how do we get back? You know <laughs> You just swim. Like, like fuck it's a one-way way mission. You <laughs> die the death you wish to die. A watery okay. death, drowning in okay. boat wood. Boat wood. Boat wood. <laughs> For me, it was accuracy. Like they, they had to wear. <laughs> Listen, historically accurate. No, no yeah. Like <laughs> they had to wear like pounds and pounds and pounds of this armor. Right. And in that movie, they're like, okay, a cape and a diaper works just as yeah. well, right? Yeah. They, yeah. Had, they, oh, they physically had to wear like hundreds of pounds of armor. Yeah, but they had like <laughs> sweet sandals. I mean, they. Oh, well, the, sandals, yeah. the sandals were one hundred percent accurate. Oh yeah. yeah, I like how the, the black the version part. was the bad guy. Wow. Okay, I'm yeah. so oh, glad we dragged out the B that. word. Oh, wow. Wow. The B. It was almost the like they're deciding yeah. whether or not to say it right before you. Yeah. Say it. yeah. <laughs> no, I, then it's like you <laughs> threw it up. <laughs> and if you watch Prince of Persia, the white version's the good guy. I've never ah. seen that. Go watch. It's not good. Jake, Jake well, Gyllenhaal? Yeah. yeah that's, Jake, that's, that's, he looks all kinds of Persian. That's, he does. That's the Ten shades of Persian. Is. Fifty shades of Persian. Yes. You'd watch that twice. <laughs> twice. Easily. Why did Xavier look like Kesha in that movie? Like, I don't understand. Just it's dirty? Stuff. Oh, that too. That too. Wow. Oh, I thought it was Professor X. I thought it was Professor X. I thought it was Professor X. I was really confused was by that, no. too. I was like, No, Xerxes. I don't know why I said Xerxes. You did. Yeah, you're totally wrong. I said Xerxes. You did. No, Xerxes. I don't know why. Xerxes is in a wheelchair. I was like, Xerxes. Xerxes is in a wheelchair. Was it him in the chair? He's a lot different than I remember. Did he jump down, or was it like a telekinesis hover? <laughs> well, it, it was pre-injury. Well, it's like a... <laughs> it was before he got injured, he was a god. Way before. Yeah. 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 It's, it's Xavier's ancestor Xerxes. Well, it was like Magneto, uh, Michael Fassbender was in Jonah X. 
Look at all see, sorts of fuck that. up. I look so yeah, That's not a good movie. I, 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 I have no desire to see it. I heard about, what's your name? Uh, uh, yeah, Megan Fox. It's so bad that I, I just, at that point, just decided not to see it. It was so bad I had to watch it just to see how bad it was. It was a train wreck. Jonah Hex. Jonah Hex. Never saw it. No. Hot garbage. It is. Yeah. Hot garbage just from the trailer. Hot, hot, hot garbage is describing Megan Fox. Yeah. yeah. She's really it's, appropriate. Yeah, it's pretty much like like movie poison. She's just the she worst. Is. Well, she's, she's the worst. She I mean, was the best actor in the new Ninja Turtles movie. I didn't see it. That's because there was like one actor. <laughs> the rest of them were CG. That's not what I meant. The rest of the movie was terrible. You had Johnny Knoxville as a turtle. <laughs> that was horrible. I can't believe that they cast. I mean, I'm fine with Johnny Knoxville being a turtle. That's fine. Make him anybody he was a other than turtle. Like, anybody other than Leonardo. Could they have digitally altered his voice to make him <laughs> just not make him sound like a 45 year old chain smoking liquor? Well, if you could. I mean, because if you if you watch Guardians and nobody told you that Bradley Cooper was Rocket, yeah, you're right. Never exactly. know. You're absolutely right. I yeah. never know because when I even I knew going into that that's who it was and I'd still you'd only hear it when he would like yell, like yell he would yeah. just yell he wouldn't even say a word here's my issue with that movie and it's not really that movie in general it's just like, it's not, yeah it's, well it's Vin Diesel's issue Vin oh, Diesel's my issue perfect. how is his best role ever how is this man getting paid to literally say three words in every movie he ever does voice acting for he was the Iron Giant does anybody remember how that went awesome oh, I didn't know he was the Iron Giant yeah, he, was the giant. Oh, he said three things that's great great movie though Jesus. great it's movie but but he gets paid millions yeah. to say three words. That's what I'm saying. Fast and Furious. That's what I'm saying. Though. So fast, so hot. So the, so the, yeah. more, the more what if he's movies, sitting down? Go ahead. No, no. The more movies that he does, where he's just like only says like says a few words, yeah. it's less time he has to work on Fast and Furious. Right. <laughs> That's true. So keep giving him shit. Plus for Groot, he also said he said I am Groot in like thirty different languages. Was that what it was? It was. And yeah. then remember like one time, time he said like country. Country. I want you. To, I want yeah. you to listen very carefully on how much I care. <laughs> I'm listening. All right, on to something else. All right, I, 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 I got to linger drop. for just a moment. I had a visual of him like signing the contract for the movie, and they're like, "Are you flexible on the three words thing?" And he's like, "No, I, no, not." <laughs> I am. Has, every time he says he has to count his head. Then he's old. No. <laughs> did, did you mean to say I am not? No. Yes, I did. <laughs> I can act. No, well, then at the very end, they convinced him that he could say that he wants to say we. one extra word. He says we at the end. He's like, I, I need to go ahead and get. I need to change my range. I need to go ahead and I make myself more as an actor. Yeah, I need to say yeah. we. If I can't have this, I quit. I can't. If I can't have we, duh. <laughs> I'm I mean, out. we. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I'm out. Okay, he's injecting his pots. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Please hang out with Batista all day on set. Doing steroids and weed. Well, Batista. Uh, steroids is curly. <laughs> curling <laughs> weed on <laughs> <all> the <laughs> steroids. That's how you do steroids. And weed, you curl it. Yeah. You roll it into a weight and then One of massive each. size joint. But, yeah. but uh, Batista's perfectly cast. He was the best. He was the best character in he that was. movie, I think. When cast wise you know, or his actual character? Drax was Both. the best character yeah. as, as a whole. I thought he was the best. See, I appreciated Star Lord. I really did. I thought Star Lord. Oh, well, see, he, he's he's a, saying he wasn't great. Well, he, yeah. su he surprised me with him, but I've I've watched so much Parks and Rec that it's kind of like. Plus, it's also Andy. Andy his, no yeah, what. he's Andy. It's Andy, Andy tried. Yeah, I, I had didn't have that at all. See, I hadn't I'm, seen anything. Oh yeah, no, so that's, that was that's why I knew who he was. If Andy wanted to be Han Solo, that's Star Lord. Right. right. No, it's so just yeah. Andy. That would, yeah. that would just be Andy, though. Well, this this happens to me like uh, ever since I saw Michael Shannon as Zod. Mm -hmm. If I'm watching something at home, he's Zod. He's Zod. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, uh, do you kneel before Zod? I, if, sometimes. <laughs> Two knees. Two but you know, <laughs> like, like we were watching Boardwalk Empire, mm -hmm. right? And is that I'm a good like, show? I need to start it's, watching. It's pretty that. good. Okay. She, my wife is just super into it. I'm watching it like kind of halfway, periphery, doing other stuff, and mm -hmm. I walk by and I'm like, why is General Zod punching that dude? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but we don't care what his name is now because that's it's what Zod. happens. You get, you get immortalized. That is typecasting as it affects the rest of the world that isn't famous, and that's how it happens. People like me call you General Zod for the rest of your life. Well, that's, that's like what a... happened with me in uh, Daredevil. I saw um, ben, Affleck. ben Affleck in Daredevil, Affleck. and then when I saw the new uh, Batman Daredevil? flick, I'm okay. like, why can he see? <laughs> I, I had to think about that for a second. Who could this robot? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's got the mech eyes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like Hugh Jackman. It's like Hugh Jackman. Why can he see? Hugh Jackman is always Wolverine. Well, I mean, it takes, oh. it, take it even further. Daniel Radcliffe. I mean, come on. Is he's he, always Is, Harry is he ever going to be anything other than Harry Potter? Does anyone even know his name? Right. I mean, really, it's, it's Harry no. Potter. Harry Potter. Know, but Emma Watson did shed a Hermione movie. image. Yeah. So she shedded that. Well, that's because she was naked. She, yeah, she yeah, did all the naked pictures. So well, so did Daniel Radcliffe. He was also naked. He yeah, did. Broadway, right. yeah. And that's that's his other thing. But oh, that wow. didn't work. Yeah, still but, there wasn't enough to take but it. But guess like, what? That's a little wand. You're still <laughs> here. <hair -fired. laughs> oh. Yeah, but who in that trio are we not even mentioning? The ginger who... Right. The Rupert ginger. Trick, which most people don't even know. Who's she? I don't know. Like, what are you talking about? It's Ron. 
he yeah. will always be Ron. Most yeah. people don't even know his name is Rupert Grint. Right. You just, uh, I don't know his name. That's right. his name. She thinks he's Ed Sheeran. I it's thought it was Ed Sheeran. I did. <laughs> well, he took his money from Harry that's Potter weird. and opened an ice cream truck in England. So he gives ice cream out to free all the kids. Because he's got nothing else to do. <laughs> he's just chilling. Wow. He's, he's, he's just chilling. Wow. He was in an Ed Sheeran video, and I knew that Ed Sheeran was a ginger. And I was like, oh my god, Ron Weasley is Ed Sheeran. I had no idea. But it was just a music video. Wow. I thought that they were the same person for a while. I'm so glad we recorded this. Don't get me started on Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, Mark Wahlberg. What about Mark Wahlberg? Mark Wahlberg. Him and Matt Damon are the same person to me. They could be. Well, that's how I feel about it. We're right. That's how I feel about it. Justin Bieber and Miley Cyrus. The well, oh, they are the same yeah, person. Absolutely. Same person. It's just Justin Bieber with a little bit of boobs. Yeah. A little bit. That's oh, the same song. And twerks, apparently. Whatever no, that is. No, I'm still not sure. I will go ahead and say like, I don't know what that she's is. She's like a skeleton. Okay. Okay. Wrecking ball? She's a oh, skeleton. Yeah. yeah. She, she is skeleton. Or am I not sure? Well, she's skeleton. Like you need a soundboard. Here's, okay, I'm going to. My one connection between those two, I'm going to put it out there. Ready. The Beebs and the Cyrus? Yes, no, right. no, 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 no. They, like That's their, they, they, their connection is that they have the exact same face. Yes. They were both grown by the government. <laughs> and they were grown by Billy Ray Cyrus. They, just, they no. screwed up and like they didn't separate the, the session files and like, the chromosomes. <laughs> yeah. They were twins, and they're just like, oh my god, they're just so yeah. both, they're both so terrible. We Put one in like, Canada. Just, we'll they, put one in Canada. Their powers and combined. Was that one like in Alabama or something yeah, like that? Yeah, just go deep Probably. south, so nobody will suspect that yeah. she's there. Deep, deep underbelly. Yeah, and Billy Ray. Then the dad had to get famous in the '90s and screwed everything. Yeah, for yeah. Well, we had a breaky heart. Yeah. All things. We, what sir, we have a situation we were not prepared for. Have you heard there there is a song called? <laughs> <laughs> have you heard Aki Breaky Two? No. There's a sequel. No. There's a sequel. No. All good songs. There's a rap star. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Have a sequel, right? For, Billy Ray Cyrus and a rap star singing on a spaceship. Is it Wiz Khalifa? No, it's some underground. I've never even heard of him. Oh well, then, then you know it's bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, then, yeah. This right. guy hasn't heard it. It's awful, man. So my conclusion. Yeah, I'm gonna make it quick. Sure, it's ready. not even that good. We got time. Yeah. This is this is why I kind of get it. If you saw Good Will Hunting, right? Yes. In 1997. That game. Right. And you can Im- and you can pretend or imagine <laughs> that it's Mark Wahlberg as Will instead of Matt Damon. It works just as well, if not better. I can I do like the same it. thing with imagining like fucking. Yeah, but no, I set it up that it was bad. It wasn't strong. <laughs> That's all I got, guys. I'm trying to contribute. I mean, they were both in The Departed. Right. There you go. There's the connection right there. I think they're both from Boston. They're both from Boston. Massachusetts. They have a heavy accent. Just just five seconds, because I have to do this every time we mention movies with Leonardo DiCaprio. You know, I fucking hate Leonardo DiCaprio. I love Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay, let's move on. on. Okay. I used to. I used to hate him, and then, like, some of the movies that he's made recently. Gangs of New York. Not recently, but, oh, you know, um, Gangs of New York. I've been really good. He's in good movies. I get it. But he is just awful. Yes. I saw. Have you ever seen The Beach? No. Oh, okay. You have? I've seen the beach. Fucking eight bit tiger? Come on, dude. Well, every actor's made bad movies. Let's not argue that one. Yeah, like Jake Gyllenhaal, Hall, Jared Leto, all their movies are terrible. Hey now. So, <laughs> that's a bad actor, so it's, it's appropriate. So it's expected. You're gonna watch Dallas Buyers Club for Jared Leto. No. Jake Gyllenhaal's Hall's great nightcrawler. Nightcrawler, I was about to say. Thank it's, you. It's got a ninety eight percent on Rotten it's Tomatoes so and it good. actually deserves it. I feel dirty after I like I need a shower. Yeah, I see every day. Well, no. that's, that's when I just wake up and I'm like, I'm still dirty in life. After Nightcrawler, I told them even worse. You did what I did last night. Yeah. Oh, we covered some of the movies you've watched recently under Netflix binges. So. They're great movies. You know what? Did you access the history? No, he just told me about it. Oh, it was even oh worse. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He makes me a part of this. He's like, hey, hey, hey. They sew each other's faces to each other's asses. I don't know. Oh, there we go. I've never heard of it. I'm like, what is this? We got there in under 10 minutes. What is this? I never said I enjoyed the movie. I just watched it. It's just amazing that you never heard of it until recently. This is only like a few weeks ago. Yeah, I mean, this is like a recent development. I feel like I've been... Have you never heard of human sex? Because I've got decency. That's true. Well, have you heard of Teeth, the movie? No, I've got decency. Wow. Yeah. Teeth is... That's messed up. Teeth is way worse. Have you heard of it? No. It's about a lady who has uh, teeth in her vagina, and they come out when she gets startled or scared. Good. That, we need that. Yeah. So. No, you're so, it's on Netflix. <laughs> Zero rapes ever. It's on Netflix, <laughs> guys. You'll watch it. Reproducing is going to stop. Even them. No, only when she gets angry. Like the Hulk. Oh, okay. Like the Hulk. Okay, yeah. well, no offense, but it's a woman that we're talking about, so that could be like any point in time. Oh, hey, honey, what are you doing today? And then there's a whole week of just teeth. Just teeth everywhere. <laughs> well, there's, there's the, the, eggs are, the eggs are always cooked right. Oh. Wait, who's cooking the eggs, though? You are now. I the eggs. Oh, then, so then, I then, okay, the eggs. I was She's saying. angry. She's, okay, then, she then messed they're always up. wrong. 
Right. Right. Teeth come out. That, see, he knows. So like they're married. always wrong. Oh, right. You're married. I'm married. Okay, he understands. I know that sunny side up and scramble are not the same thing. It doesn't That's mean right. capable. Of <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is like, like this? Nobody. Is, like you know, Paris Hilton said once, like. Tell people Thanks, what they want to hear, and then do whatever you want. Are we and when I make right when now? I make eggs, though, and like sunny side up, you got it. And then I scramble the shit. Out of <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and then when I deliver them, they're already there. No, oh, yeah. So it's on. like, do you want the eggs you, you don't really want, but you have, or do you want? It's kind of like the Batman. Like he's it's the eggs you need, just not the ones you deserve. <laughs> okay. right Absolutely. Bat eggs. Bat eggs. The bat eggs. Made with a batarang spatula. Ben Affleck made him for it. A bat spatula? Blind That's kind of close to Scott wow. Bakula. Bakula. Bat spatula. Wow. Bat spatula. Scott wow. Bakula. Scott yeah, he's, he's going to copyright this shit. We're gonna get Scott Dracula. Um, yeah, We're going to shut down right now. No, Scott you Dracula. said my name. <laughs> he just stands here watching us the rest of the time. <laughs> I'm watching you. No, yeah. Yeah, one of those with us too. Yeah. No, no, no. We said Scott Dracula. Okay. Oh, I just choked. I just choked on the Pepsi. Yeah. It's not even Pepsi. Um, wow. It's, oh, it's. Just, <laughs> now we're getting sued by Pepsi and Coke. Damn it. Yeah. We get a mission, of course. Slander. We get a sponsorship. Uh, it's Pepsi. Coke. <laughs> That's right. We're getting a sponsorship. And I choked on Pepsi. And Coke's Pepsi like, yes. You said our name. She's drinking it. Give us money. Sponsored by Pepsi. <laughs> yeah. Cool, refreshing Pepsi. Yeah. We're, not sponsored by Pepsi. we're not sponsored by anyone. We're not. We're, we're but if Pepsi wants to sponsor us, it'd be great. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I am not above begging for sponsorship. I also, I, love, I also love Taco Bell. I will drink Pepsi my eggs. Yes. I'll let Mike eat Taco Bell. <laughs> so I think the whole thing we were supposed to try to do today is talk about Comic Con. Comic Con, have you? We're going to do Comic Con. Well, we've got to start somewhere. Absolutely. Yeah. So, we'll do it with 300. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, the con news obviously is all like that trailer. The biggest trailers the came out. Trailer leaks and everything like yeah. that. And uh, we kind of touched on it earlier with the Suicide Squad and everything like that. Has, anybody, has everyone seen this or at least had heard something about it this yeah. time? Yeah, looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, my biggest concern initially is is the Joker. Right. I and mean, that's my biggest issue is I'm not convinced that he is the Joker. Right. Even after the trailer. To me, and I said this to Troy earlier today, is that he's basically just some fucking crazy guy that spray painted his hair green. Yeah, that is the Joker. I understand that. Yeah, but the Joker, yeah, but, but the Joker is in all of psychotic. In all the interpretations yeah. of Joker, whether it be animated or on screen, yeah, yeah. he has a personality that makes you believe he's Joker. Right. And granted, we're only getting what a small snippet from the trailer. Yeah, I get yeah, two minutes. Get like fifteen even. seconds. Yeah, exactly. yeah, but I just don't see it. I, I don't. I just see. I see basically one of Joker's lackeys. That's what, what I, I, I I'm like, oh, this is Joker's lackey. Right. Who's going to be Joker? Well, see, and that's well, what I thought about. Will Smith. And, it's going to be Joker. That's what I thought about. Spoiler, guys. Will Smith is the Joker. I'd be okay with that. Um, <laughs> he would be fine, though. That's yeah, the funny thing. He would. That's crazy. I just never thought about it, but he would actually... He well, sheds dead, dead shot and becomes Joker. Go. But I, I have the same feeling about the Joker, just because he looks like a 90s Joker villain. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Absolutely. Like one of his henchmen, yeah. you know, especially if you watch like the animated cartoon. He that's just, exactly what he, they're saying. Yep. He looks like a guy that there should be like 10 more of. Mm -hmm. And, well, you know, it's like his yeah. gang. Right. That would be yeah. Joker's a Great gang. example of the Jokers from Batman Beyond. That's exactly what yeah, I thought yeah, of. Yeah, I thought. Gang. A little bit, little bit toughened up, you know, a little bit more edgy, but that was kind of the feel I got. Right. It's like, oh, yeah. one of those biker Jokers that's right. yeah. out uh, clubbing people. So yeah. That's what I got. But I'm perfectly fine with Jared Leto as Joker. For one, I like Jared Leto as an actor, but if you go back and you see like, like a snippet of Jack Nicholson's Joker. It's mm -hmm. like, he's cool, but he's not like the Joker. Like, if you just see like 20 seconds, like a trailer of him, no. If you just see the trailer of The Dark Knight, like I rewatched last night, you see like Joker for like a little bit. You're like, he looks grungy and kind of psychotic, but he doesn't look like the Joker from like, because I know Joker is Mark Hamill. Right, right. I mean, right. Yeah. Yeah. that's all. Yeah. Right. Games. Exactly. Right. So seeing Jared Leto in the Suicide Squad trailer, I'm like, he actually looked the most psychotic out of any Joker iteration I've ever seen. No, I, I completely like, agree. Seeing him with, with, with the, the tilted record. light, I'm like, I don't want to mess with this guy. Yeah, he's fucking crazy. Yeah, I totally yeah, get but, it. Right? But he looks... No, but it's almost taking it too far because the Joker. I mean, again, is is more. It's like a sophisticated villain. You know, he's like a crazy. He's a businessman. Yeah, right. well, there's right. right. There's a pop of his collar. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they can't tell that. Like, yeah. okay. poison's no, gonna no, shoot out of it. I think I have something. I'm yeah. ready. Here we go. He's, he's, every now and then, I, I think things. <laughs> I think. You're married. I know what it's like. Yes. By the way, he did fall into the Vin Diesel line there. I think things. He's good. We're good. Yeah. Well, that's why I think for yourself anymore. Right. That's why I get to do this because then I get to talk about yeah. thoughts. We can talk and think. <laughs> so, what do you, what do you, how do you feel? Okay. okay, how do you feel about Joker? Um, not to each other. Okay, first thing <laughs> is I get why they did it. Yes. Yeah. I'll get back to that. I'm going to try to bring this thing full circle. We love it. We'll wait. Um, we got, we'll I got three and a half hours. It'll never okay. get there. It will never. Hopefully. Um, okay. I'm going to try. So okay. he, he started out as 
like a zany villain in the yeah. 40s. Like, yes. He was like, that's the only word I can think of. The like, Caesar Romero joke here. Right. Yeah. 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 And like the well, zany. Pre the, yeah. the, pre any pre crisis, really. He was just, from like the 40s to like the 80s, he was like zany. Yeah. And like. He did, I think, kill people, but mostly it was just like just gags. gags. Yeah, it was almost a gag reel type thing. He's like, ah, yeah. oops. Yeah, the moving teeth. Or like, he was, he was always like trying to kill Batman and Robin, but like he would like leave the room five seconds before it was going to happen, mm-hmm. and then they would do their thing, and, aha, gotcha. You know, that yeah. One. So they rebooted DC, and then they were like, they gritted everybody up with Dark Knight Returns. Yeah. Um, and that Joker, it was, I think, what they're going for with this, and I think the reason why it's not hitting home is because it's just a snippet. Right. But basically what they establish is that this dude is bipolar, um, but, like, the really dangerous bipolar, where, like, f- for 30 seconds he's telling zany jokes and being a li- likable dude, and then, bam, he's, he's going drug. to kill you. Yeah. Like, he's going to eat your face. Eat your face. Um, face eater. Go, go finish your thought. And I think it's a combination of trying to bring him back to that, which is even worse to see because you're like, I don't know what this guy's going to do to me yeah. from minute right. to minute. And then second, I think a lot of it is that, like, Warner Brothers is forced to distance themselves from everything else they've done. Of course. Which I like. And you can't compare with the Heath Ledger or the Jack You can't be anywhere near those two guys. Because they had, in this case, like, the challenge that you had two, like, iconic interpretations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It wasn't like Nicholson and then the other guy. Like, Nicholson and Ledger both did. Um, So I think the only thing they're left with is that they have to bring him into 2015. Yeah. Where, okay... And it's been established that Batman has been around for, like, 20-something years, mm-hmm. um, which means Joker has been around for 20-something years. Right. He's kind um, of hard. Oh, in, in, the, in, the, in the new movie, movie that's how they're Because yeah, yeah. Batman yeah. looks older. He's been he's, he's like a dark knight. He's, like, yeah, he's like in his late 40s. So he's been going at it for oh, a okay. while. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I can't wait to talk about that trailer. We'll right, we'll get to that. that. Um, but, so we know that Joker's been around for a long time, mm-hmm. at least 10 or 15 years, maybe even longer. Mm-hmm. Um, he's missing his teeth, and I read that that's because Batman has literally like punched, punched his man. entire set of teeth yeah. out. And in, in the trailer, it looks like he has, like, razor teeth. It's not like a grill. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 he has, yeah, he has, like, the... Yeah, yeah. There, will like right. Right. There, right. there will be biting. Right. There will be biting. There will be some biting. It's called it, guys. It's called it. Yeah, there will be biting. But if you go back to the, the Batman Adam West TV show, mm-hmm. you had to see his Romero Joker, who was, like, the clown prince of crime, like you said, like, right. the trash and everything. You had a Jack Nicholson Joker with Tim Burton, who was more, like, the, the gangster gentleman Joker. Yeah, yeah exactly. You're, yeah. you're against your devil. And what kind of 80s like, can you get in the Exactly. Yeah, no, he, right. really, he really was. Right. right. In, the, in the 2000s, we had Heath Ledger Joker, who was very, like, anarchist Joker. Mm. Ground level, blowing up buildings, having a blast. Right. I think now, with Zack Snyder and DC, they're going more straight-up psychotic. Yeah. Something we haven't seen. Like, we see a little bit like the animated movies, like, yeah. Under the Red Hood... You know, stuff like that. Yeah, their animated is very dark. It was going like straight. Under, under Red Hood was really good. Right. All, all their animated stuff's solid. I there, haven't seen that animated. Because there's, there's yeah, a scene on the Red Hood where, uh, yeah. where, where Joker's in interrogation talking to Black Mask. He cracks a joke, and as he's cracking a joke, he's killing his henchmen. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, like you yeah. said, with the bipolar. He's going to yeah. crack a joke while he's murdering you. Yeah. Because there's a scene at the end of the trailer. He's like, I'm not going to kill you. I'm just going to hurt you really, really bad. I'm like, that's, that's perfect. Yeah. yeah. You know? And it's, just, it's just a laugh afterwards. Nah. You know? I don't know if that's how he laughs. But, well, the laugh that we did here, <laughs> the laugh was creepy. Fucking creepy. Yeah, man. it was a creepy laugh. I mean, wow. Because the Heath Ledger's Joker laugh, it was cool, mm-hmm. but it was it sounded like he was out of breath. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. like he had just smoked <laughs> all the influence there. That was his processes. whole interpretation, like, the whole time. Like, he's all out of breath. Every, every, time, he's well, every time he talked. Every time he talked. Yeah. Every time he talked, he did that. Yeah. Yeah. I love yeah. the voice that Heath Ledger did, though, for the Joker. Oh, I think it was so I mean, he was very grungy. He was like he stepped out of fucking Alice in Chains video. Yeah. Yeah, Andy Donson make don't get me wrong I love the Heath Ledger Joker I love Jack Nicholson Joker okay well who's your favorite Mark Hamill yeah no no I have okay. Okay. favorite live okay. action favorite live action yeah, yeah. that's just a voice I mean I get it but that's just a voice he's, a, well, he's, he's the, the best though he's, he's the, the best years. he's the best Joker voice yeah. that they're ever gonna have if you wanna go, but it's just because he's a, he's a voice actor yeah, so right. if you wanna put Mark Hamill in the Joker outfit you'd be like what is Luke Skywalker doing poisoning the city yeah that's cockney he's a Jedi yeah, he's cockknocker. For, for live action, it's really hard to compare. That's who it wasn't Jane Silent Bob. He was, they're basically two different characters. Okay. okay. Jack Nicholson but, but and Heath Ledger. Who's your favorite Joker? Pick up, yeah. You gotta pick today. If I'd have to go with Jack Nicholson. Okay. Wow. Yes. Yeah. That is... What I about you're you? Like, oh, I really think you're on an island. Oh, it's, it's Heath Ledger all day. I would agree with him. I, 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 I yeah. What about you? Okay. I think I, 
Heath Ledger without even thinking about it, man. We're tied. We're tied, too. Think about it. Okay, I... We're trusting this guy to break the tie. Yeah. This guy's got Disney right now. very thought. Radar, we'll talk about that. I, okay... I'm trying to say this the right way. <laughs> the political <laughs> answer it starts with me with everything I say. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's going to go terribly it's wrong. It's going to go terribly wrong. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. It's Jack Nicholson. Right. But here's why. Yeah, please do. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. The, the, Joker, the Joker in Dark Knight didn't actually, short of blowing people up, the, the, you know, Rachel and Harvey Dent, mm -hmm. and that was awful. Yes. Short of that... He didn't actually do anything bad, right? And he actually only hurt the mob, well, and here's which is what Batman was trying to do. True, but in, in he things, just did it right. He did yes. it right. He did, well, I mean, he, got it done. He, he stole money from a mob bank. Yeah, yeah. that's true. He, he blew killed up, his own people, though. He yeah. killed. He killed yeah. criminals. Cool criminals. That's true. Yeah. The detonators on the ferries were never wired to explode in the first mm -hmm. place. Right. He was just surprised that they didn't try. And he's not even the one who killed Two Face. He's, he's not the one who killed Two Face. But here, here's why I think that works: is Heath Ledger being the better Joker because he did all this shit just fucking with people. Right. It's true. And, and, and I, mean, I get that side with too. People I the do. Entire time. I do. Yeah. Like, he's such a such a like brilliant criminal. That's what that's when I think everybody started to realize. I mean, at least for me, that's when I started to realize that. Uh, the Joker's like super methodical. Like he's yeah, so yeah. above. Like you just think, oh, it's another crazy dude. He paints his face, blah blah. blah. But he's like a genius. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. that's when it really, if you really figured out. I'm not arguing that. Yeah, we're not. We're not like, I, just, I, I don't like the Jack Nicholson one. In the '90s, I did. But well, yeah, of course. And the Heath Ledger Joker will always hold up. If you go back Soul and watch Jack, the original, Soul no, Jack he's no. so campy he's and campy. corny. Right, he's me. got the giant gun that says bang. Like, yeah, the that, 90s okay, are like, but, but, but no, here's great. the other part. Here's the part that really ruins it for me. And don't get me wrong, the 90s movie was amazing. I'm yes. not, oh, not going to take away from it. Batman was one of the best Michael movies. Keaton's still my favorite Batman. But fucking Joker is throwing a parade. Right? As, Joker as his do. fucking, he he like, this is my big finish. I'm throwing a parade. He would do that. Parades are awful. Okay. <laughs> Joker knows okay. that. And Joker knows right. that. He's like, oh, God. Let's go to a parade in front of my Brady of Comics. Right. right. Oh, no. <laughs> give, me 30, give me 30 seconds for Jack Nicholson. And go. I'm, then I'm tapping out. All right, he's got it. He, he does, for the time frame, exactly what that dude did in the books. Mm -hmm. I agree. And yeah. with, with poisoning the city, with, like, combining random shit you get at Walgreens, <laughs> that true. is some sick, <laughs> twisted shit. Because they had that whole thing yeah, back and in the 90s. And they were even close. Batman was like, fuck you. Here's your fucking file. I don't give a fuck anymore. Like, he, you know, he was pissed about it because the cops had every everything they needed to figure it out. And I kind of read into that scene maybe more than people. But he seemed, like, genuinely agitated yeah. Yeah, absolutely. that he had to do it. Um, but the Joker basically put together something that, if not for the presence of Batman, like, they would have fucking died, everybody. Um, and for me, that's more, like, vile and evil than anything Ledger did. And that's the, that's my only angle. Right. And like I said, I, I, I've, read the, I've read the blog or whatever it was. It kind of has this whole theory that he was actually doing good as opposed to bad. And yeah. I, I don't disagree with the article uh, yeah. as far as Heath Ledger goes. I, I can actually see it. I'm like, wow, that's a different way of thinking. Totally. Yeah. But like I said, for me, it's... it's By the way, Google, we should, we should probably put the Google in this so people can read that article. Oh yeah, that's where I put the link to it in the description. Okay, because I don't, okay, yeah, don't want to take false credit for my for my information. Yeah, no, right. yeah. <laughs> I'm not plagiarizing yeah. currently. I mean yeah. later, but right now, right. I, didn't, I didn't put this stuff together. Some Tumblr blog did. Well, have to, you have it was to, a hipster somewhere that was. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, oh yeah, but uh, I, like I like said, I just have to give me the link. I just I just okay. felt that Nicholson for me um, at the time was great, but I, I just feel like I do feel like it doesn't hold up any longer, and I don't. I just don't, I just don't feel like it does. I mean, that whole movie, if you start putting it against uh, the first two of the newest Batman, because the third one we all agree is yeah. an atrocity. Uh, yeah. So we all agree it's an atrocity, but the first two were amazing. Oh, yeah. Um, and I think that it totally just discredits all the original Batman stuff, because I feel that this one was so much darker, and it was a, it was a better... Do you yeah. remember Batman yeah. Returns with the Penguin? Yeah. It was so frightening. It was. <laughs> it, was <laughs> it was frightening. It was frightening, but it wasn't a dark movie. It was frightening. It was, the Penguin was physically... Oh. Yeah, Danny DeVito was a monster. Well, Danny DeVito was anything. He's he like, oh, yeah, right. Danny right. DeVito is a four-foot monster. Right. I mean, like, so he's playing himself. Right. Plus, in that movie, this, we yes. had the best Catwoman since anywhere. I mean, I'm not disagreeing She's the best Catwoman. Yeah, Thank you. I'm not disagreeing but, there was good characters. I just think the but with the, but if, if you, 20 years from now, if you watch The Dark Knight, will Heath Ledger's Joker still hold up? Yes. Absolutely. You don't know that. Cause I, I, we could have said I, that about Jack Nicholson's Joker. Yeah, but he's, he's such know? a... He's an anarchist. See, the, my thing about uh, comics, and, it, and it's happening more and more, and yes. this is the movie realm, mm -hmm. except for the Avengers and kind of some of the... Yeah. Things have to be wrapped 
in reality. Right. That's why the Dark Knight trilogy... DC's doing it so well. Right. Yeah. Work, but that's why Dark Knight yeah. trilogy worked, because there's a person the like one. Joker that could, yeah. Yeah. could exist. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they kind of do. It's a believable character. Right. right. You see... I mean, and to go back to the whole Joker doesn't do bad thing, really bad things... He blew a hospital up. He did. But no, but, but after... Everybody was out. Yeah, but he... He still blew he gave the up, He gave up <laughs> enough time. And right, he's 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 the man that doesn't no matter what. He yeah, said, like, I'm gonna kill... Oh, so but if you don't if you don't, if you don't, If you don't say who Batman is within an hour... I'm gonna blow up a, hi a hospital. He, he could have done it like Batman. Batman. That's true. He gave them time because he just wants to punish... Batman. Hospitals that are empty. <laughs> oh, so so then, the then where do you put all these people? So what you're telling me, as long as I go and level a, a school with no children in it, it's I'm okay. okay. Oh, well, you're bad, no. you're not evil. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Uh, no, wait a minute. That's, uh, that's uh, the but, difference between bad and evil. No, yeah. no, like, you're evil if you blow that hospital up. Fuck the school, the kids can get their books somewhere else. Right. <laughs> there are people like on life support, there's people getting cancer treatment, and you're okay. like, hey, Part let's get all these people okay. out and just kind of Bring him to another Jack hospital. Nicholson poisoned Here. a city. The whole city was poisoned. Oh, like, I have someone on my side. Like, yeah, I got oh, you. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, they, they yeah, all just yeah. smile. And die. Yeah, they died. Yeah. Yeah, oh, come on. Oh, that's terrible. They died happy. They, they died happy. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, no matter matter what, made them happy before no they No matter what they were doing, they died doing what they loved to do. Well, there was a horrible smell afterwards. So that was the plot. And there it is. I'm going to stink up the city. Yes. Yes. Everybody else that lives is going to be pissed. <laughs> you can't unsmell things. Well, you, know, you can't unsmell that. Was, you just can't. There was an episode, it was real fast, but there was an episode of the animated series where right. Joker poisoned fish. Okay. Um, okay. And actually, it was actually a really strong episode for its time. Like, you Most know, of I them were. The animated stuff was great. I yeah, haven't yeah. seen it since I was a kid. Ask the fan I could yeah. like, go back and watch this now and still enjoy it. Um, he basically, like, monopolized the fishing market okay. in Gotham and, like, somehow got all of the fish. He called Aquaman. Yeah, he's like, hey, I heard the Justice League mistreats you. Like, I hear the no, world no, no, mistreats you. Yeah, you are everyone's whipping post. Yeah, okay. hey, some has to defend Aquaman. It's gonna be me. Oh, we can get I hear you only have yeah, one fan. We'll come to that later. Florida. In Florida. Yeah, you do. I have a fan in Florida. That's the one guy. I'm over here, Arthur. <laughs> You're the only person who knows his name, just so you know. But back to the... the Everyone was like, thing. Aquaman's name is Arthur. Oh! Okay. oh, did, oh I did not We're going to piss off the other Aquaman fan in the world. You're going to write you an angry letter about Arthur. You're the guy that created Aquaman? It's like, I can't believe I did this shit. No, no, there's some guy doing like a hand fist. It's going to be Jason Momoa, the guy who plays Aquaman. He's like, you guys. He doesn't even care, he's just like, pay me? I was like a painter coming to say my name. Uh, <laughs> not yet. Yeah, you I said my name. I was in Game of Thrones. <laughs> Here he's back. Oh, Bacula's back. We got all three in now. We have Bacula, oh. Pepsi, <laughs> Jason <laughs> Momoa. Well, what the fuck is Scott Bacula doing? Most people listening to this probably won't even know who, who that is. I, I will yeah. openly Google say, Google him. I will openly say, I don't even know who he is. <laughs> I don't really know who he is either. I don't want to link anything to him. But like comparing, back to, on points. <laughs> Comparing yeah. Nicholson and Ledger is like comparing it to, like apples and drafts. Two completely different things. No, they're the same thing. It's like comparing <laughs> <laughs> drafts and apples. No, it's like, it's like comparing like horses and zebras. Like that's yeah. a lot closer. Okay, that I, yeah, yeah, okay. Because apples and drafts, they both play. They're both not pretending to be giraffes. You're like, stop it, orange. You're not a okay. giraffe. This is this is. I, I swear to God, it's my last time. Are you sure? No. no. So when, when they're at, no. When they're at, three hours of recording. Oh, this is the last thing. You want. Okay, well, say your last thing. We'll move on to another topic. Okay, okay we'll never get off topic. Or I will <laughs> let you know about it. <laughs> <laughs> let him say his point. This is this is what I this is what I think. Fucking juggalo. <laughs> the Joker that I have read since since Crisis happened. Since when Christ he, happened. Since Christ happened. Since, since, happened. since the since beginning Christ, of Christ. Christ. Since, since 80. Since, <laughs> wow. <laughs> when he throws, what's her name? Maggie? Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He throws Maggie Gyllenhaal out the window. Batman goes out and gets her, right? Yes. Right. They glide down and they land in the car. Um, uh -huh. He never goes back up there. Joker's and still the, up in the, the party. And the Joker, he's up at the party with nobody there to help those people. And the Joker that I know would have probably slaughtered everyone All in that room. room. Would I, I, well, see, I think that's what you're going to get from the new one. He's just going to be shock him. value. Yeah. That's yeah. the only thing. I think that's the only. But it's not going to be like. like but it's not just. Type it's not going to be like torture porn, like Saw. It's going to be like a psychology. No, I think that's what it's going to be though. Is that a genre? That's a thing. Torture. He would have been like. Watch the latter Saw. He would have been. I haven't seen the first Like I think the first one. He's just. He's going to be like how you how you see him. Right. He's just going to run through and he'll have a conversation casually with you. He's going to be kind of what Heath Ledger. Did it for like a second with mm -hmm. the pencil. 
Yes. Yeah. Show to Trick. Yeah, exactly. But, 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 the but, right but, right but that's one of the best that's moments that's in a Batman well, movie I think, ever. It's Joker I, being psychotic. New, but I think in the new one, you're going to see that more randomly. But it's going to be more like, hey, blah, 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 blah. And then he just shoves it into your eyes. Yeah. Well, that's it. He kind of tricks the guy. And he's like, hey, I'm going to Because he tricks the guy. The guy's like, okay, this is weird, but I'll go see what you're doing. Oh, God. It's in my eye. Yeah. But no, the regular one would sit around a table like we're doing. And then just blah blah blah, and then shove it into your neck, and then I'm keep, not touching me. Yeah. I'm not touching yeah, and then keep oh, talking, yeah, yeah. or have the, you know. <laughs> if we can go back to the trailer for a second, there's the, the end scene with the Joker with the whole uh, the, the the light above his face. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you look back in the trailer, uh, there's a scene flashing about a girl strapped to the table. With yeah, glasses, oh, we were talking about. And this. it looks like it's gonna. It looks like Harley Quinzel before she becomes Harley Quinn. Yeah. So I think we're gonna see her origin story in the movie, but I think it's gonna be changed. Like she's not gonna. Fall for him like as a psychiatrist. He's gonna get kidnapped and tortured to become his like Stockholm syndrome. Oh, that's um, that's really smart, right? Yeah. So okay, so I can see the Stockholm syndrome, but the thing is, we don't have enough time to explain her whole origin. I, Suicide Squad. I just, I think that'd be. I awesome. just don't want to. Awesome. I just don't want to see Harley yeah. Quinn in like. Like I'd be more okay if it was like a side I character. Like, I don't really care. Well, she's not gonna be like the main character of Suicide. There's like eight of them. Yeah, but like she's the one they really focus on. You know what I mean? Especially when they do the con. Everybody they, loves her. Exactly. So I think that she's gonna get more screen time. Right. Because there's, I mean, she's in that car. I don't even see who's in the car when the Joker's the driving. Joker's okay, driving. so it's a Joker, right? So I think it's they're a gonna big car. Right. They're gonna they're gonna put them together. Which so is maybe fun. It's, I like Harley when she's I, with the Joker. I just don't think. Her not talking like how we had. I want her voice. You want her her her, her New York old, Jewish accent? Yeah, I want her to sound like an old Jewish. Oh, Mister J. I want that voice. Uh, okay, she doesn't talk. You have the voice for this now? Oh, Arlene Sorkin. Thank you. Even through the internet. All of a sudden, I'm perfect. Perfect. I don't understand. Whoa. Get Arlene Sorkin back from the Batman. There you go. Yeah. Oh. She, her voice is. She's like 65 now, but her voice like guaranteed. Or whoever the same. Voice, same. Whoever voiced her in the Arkham games. But it sounds really like too. it sounds like Margot Robbie is actually kind of trying to channel the. That, a little bit of that. Yeah, I think there's. I heard some without going too over the top. Well, I think there's just about. too much hype behind that character. Well, yeah, yeah that's, in, that's just in general. Especially being, yeah. especially being here, like when I when I first started helping you guys out, that's when the Harley Quinn variants well, and all yeah. this stuff yeah. came out, and everybody's like, "Oh, Harley Quinn, Harley Quinn." Well, the two biggest uh, people, two shit. biggest top sellers in like comics are Harley Quinn and Deadpool. Right. Yeah. Speaking of Deadpool, uh, oh. segue. Uh, segue. Uh, How many people saw the Deadpool trailer that got leaked? I have not. I saw the original test footage. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the, 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 the car? Yeah. Yeah, well, that was fantastic. I just saw the trailer. Okay. Yeah. The, the Deadpool trailer starts off, it shows that test footage with him in the car flipping yeah. and all that stuff, and then kind of cuts to, like, him going in for, like, the Weapon X program. Mm -hmm. It's like, like, yeah, you have cancer in, like, your lungs, your pancreas, everywhere. Like, if you join us, though, we can, we can make you a superhero. We can give you powers. He's like, yeah, man, let's fucking do this. Just don't make the suit green or anything. You know? <laughs> That's awesome. So it shows him that, and it shows him that out of his mask, and he looks all... There's a, there's a line in the trailer that says, You look like Freddy Krueger face fucked the topographical map of Utah. <laughs> and it looks just like that. Is that why he said that? He said, he said that in, yeah. our, in our chat. And I was like, What the fuck is he talking about? So in the trailer, it cuts to him like breaking the fourth wall. It shows Colossus in the trailer, which he looks awesome. I, I'm still upset they changed him. He's like, You are a big ass fucker. Oh, they're not using the. Uh, no, no, it doesn't look guy, like it. Which is, it frustrates me to no end. The, the guy, guy in the old X Men movies? Those look like they're using the same guy. Oh, they are. Oh, I'm, I'm yeah, I know awesome. you like him. I yeah, think he was amazing. Like Ten years ago. Oh, no, but even in Days of Future Past, same guy. Well, yeah, oh, yeah. same guy. Well, Wait, is, is Marvel doing Deadpool? Foxes. Foxes Fox doing Deadpool. So they're, they can do the X Men. But throughout the trailer, he's cracking nerve. They sh you, sh you see some of the action with his his, his twin blades and everything. Mm -hmm. The action looks sharp. The humor is on point. And I'm not a big Deadpool fan. I hate him. But I, I love Deadpool. That's just, that's I love crazy. his original stories, where he's, he's right. He's, if you give me original Deadpool, yeah, I like his it. humor is now. His humor is a little dark, kind of breaks the fort, but it's not over the top. Yeah, yeah. And it's just bloody. Yeah. And that's what this movie looks like. It's channeling bloody old school Deadpool. Uh, the only the only thing that's gonna sit. Well, I mean, the movie's gonna be fine. I, yes. What I want to see though, and I know there's no way in hell, is Skinny Cable. You might see the point of Jimmy Cable just, 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 just back there. Just, you might get, even if it ends right there. I'm you good. might get an great table. table. I'd be amazing. You you that'd be amazing. Because, I mean, then, then you open up a whole other world. Because in, in the movie, it looks like he's teaming up with Colossus and Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Say that again? Ten times fast. No, just once. <laughs> Negasonic uh -huh. Teenage Ninja Turtle. Warhead. <laughs> <laughs> she was the character created in the nineties by Grant Morrison, who's like a, like a precog from right. Minority Report. Right, right. So she can see shit happening. So she teams up with Deadpool, and it looks like 
It's hilarious. And the movie looked, you know? I mean, again, the test footage looked incredible. Right. right? I mean, I, the, the, for anybody that hasn't seen it, it's basically him sitting on top of a, a bridge at first. He's yeah. Really listening to doodling. The, yeah. Doodling. Listen, I don't Gwen Stefani. Yeah, Gwen Stefani. Yeah, yeah. just listen to music. Yeah. He's, he's, he jumps down into a car. You know, and he just kind of floats in and he's, he gets in there and the first thing he does is starts fucking joking with yeah. you guys, you know? Yeah. And it's great. You know, and then even so so much as you get his head bashed off, so he's just out. Yeah. Ow. You know, it was just funny. You know, even throughout the trailer, the soundtrack, from what we heard, it has, like, Gwen Stefani, it has, like, DMX in the trailer. I'm like, this is going to be an awesome soundtrack just by yeah, itself. Yeah, random, if nothing else. Right? He's yeah, like, all right, because he looks at the camera, he's like, cue the music, and then X going to give it to you by DMX, starts playing, I'm like, I'm sold. Yeah, Willie, <laughs> Willie Nelson's going to be on the soundtrack. Sure, why, why not? not? Absolutely. It makes perfect sense. So I'm excited for that. Then I had the panel at Comic-Con, Ryan Reynolds came out, looking... Magnificent, as we can all agree. <laughs> you know, yes. And it, obviously, it was the funniest panel at Comic Con because they were just cracking jokes. Right. And the director was like, "I've been wanting to make Deadpool since Origins came out. I'm just yeah. waiting for the green light from Fox." Yeah. yeah. And like, and Ryan was like, he pointed to the crowd and Holly. She's like, "What are you fucking dickheads leaked that footage?" And I want to say thank you because if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have been making this movie. Because it was like a day after Comic Con that that footage got leaked. Oh, the test footage. Yeah. Wow. And yeah. people loved it. So they were like, Fox Brown was like, alright, green light, go, but it's PG 13. So for months. Yeah, they, that was, I was worried. For I, and months. I'm not a huge into Deadpool right. either, but I know that if you're going to make a Deadpool movie, you yeah, got to go. Well, for months, they've, they've been, hound, to be they've been R, hounding yeah. Fox, like, let's make it R. Let's make it R. Like, no, no, no. It's PG 13. Let's make it R. So they made it R, right? R. And they were like, yeah, good. Yeah, R. They went back to PG 13. So the, the Ryan Reynolds and the director went up to him, like, dude, we have to be R for Deadpool. You gotta throw in the F bomb, you gotta have blood. So now it's officially rated R, Deadpool yeah. is. As, as it should be. Yeah. And I mean, it's the first hard R rated superhero movie. You know, and here's and this the is the one thing R. I will yeah, say man. about this is one thing I will say about Deadpool. Um, it's the pirate. Yeah, pirate, he's a pirate now. The pirates are decided. I, it, I, it's, yeah, my, right. it's my sincere hope yes. that Deadpool is a one and done. I don't want to see it as a sequel. You, if you do a sequel, uh, it'll probably be like a yeah. Deadpool cable team up. That maybe, maybe. I, but I'd rather see him as a supporting character. Exactly. I agree. Deadpool movie. I agree. Maybe introduce Cable, whatever, and, but do not do a sequel because you will beat it to death. But you know, because it's so they're, popular, they're you're going to make money. Oh, I know what's going to happen. Yeah, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to, not that anyone's they're, listening to us because we're all by ourselves best. here. Yeah. But, no, they, I think they're going to. I think they're going to make a sequel and they're, they're going to beat it to death they will. because it's going to be like like with Guardians. That movie came out, it was a huge hit. It's, no matter it's who, different. No matter who you were, you kn- a lot of people never even knew who they were. Right, nobody did. I mean, and, honestly, nobody did. And, and then when you it came out, everybody's like, this fan. is the best thing ever. Oh, and like yeah. a month later, they're already like, we're making another one. Well, yeah. You, uh, and I'm Deadpool, afraid to say well, that. was like, already in the plans Yeah, but years. Deadpool, they know it's going to be popular. Yes. Just because that he's kind he's of... So he's so popular. He's so popular. He's now. the second most popular Marvel character around the world behind Spider-Man. Which is embarrassing. Yeah. Honestly, it's embarrassing. I mean, because you start thinking about all the Marvel characters that have been over the years. Right. right? Yes. Obviously, I love Captain America, but yeah. we'll take him out of the equation because that's fine. And not everybody likes him. Yeah, yeah. You're talking Wolverine. You're talking Spider-Man, Spider-Man is the most popular Marvel character from around the world. That's just, I mean, it's, he, that's he, used to be, he used to be their mascot in the 90s. I, Iron Man. I mean, there's so many people that... Iron Man's great in the movies. His comic books do not sell. You know that being a comic book. They don't sell. Well, <coughs> they're, well they used to be great. Well, yeah, yeah, so yeah. kind of superior whoa, garbage. Whoa, whoa, we'll agree on that one. Whoa, whoa. Superior is garbage. Iron Man is garbage. It is garbage. He's, he's, he's my favorite superhero. Uh, I love Superman, yeah. too, but that's yeah. not the point. Yeah, he's a... Uh, no, you're right. Most of the comics, other than like his him being an alcoholic, yes. like the last few years, he's not really been that great. Armor Wars, yeah. kind of. Extremis um, was pretty but good. But the movies, but you can't, you have to credit him in the That's movies true. for helping, for helping uh, X Men and everything come up. So this week we have uh, Ant Man coming out. Yeah. The, the late the the final edition of Marvel Space Two officially. Is that the official? It is. Okay. Because the next one we have is Civil War. They start Space Three. Yeah. All right. Civil War, uh, Ant-Man coming out, I don't really care about the movie itself, I love Paul Rudd. Yeah, me too. Like, I, my favorite, one of my favorite movies is White Hot American Summer. Yeah, right, right. Wow. No quote. It's so funny. <laughs> I can't believe you know that movie. Oh, dude, it's awesome. And they're making a TV show on Netflix, prequel, point of the story is, yeah. I don't really care about Ant-Man a character or whatever, I always thought he was a lesser, no. the Adam. Yeah. And Michael Douglas is in that Michael right? Douglas yes. is Han- yeah. Hank Pym. He's Pym. Oh, he's Pym, okay, right, right now. Right. But he's not Ultimate Universe Hank Pym, so I know you don't care. Yeah, yes, yeah, so he's not punching women, so <laughs> I don't care. Right. Yeah. yeah. Hank, so Hank Pym in the Ultimate, Ultimate Universe so. was very abusive to his wife, the Wasp. No, he was. Yeah, he beat yes. her up. And then, uh, the would you like to explain how he got his uh, comeuppance? Oh, um, so in the Ultimate Universe, uh, Hank Pym, in, it's the very beginning, Ultimate is where, where it starts. He's a total dick to Wasp. Uh, he's just... 
verbally and then becomes physically abusive. And I thought, okay, this is strange. It was when, like, the turn of comics happened where it started to get more mature. Because yeah. you're like, uh, it was like 2001. Like, yeah, like early 2001, 2000s. I think, when the Ultimates came out. Because uh, Miles debuted in 01. Right. So you're like, okay, this is different. I'm not used to comics where one of the heroes is beating his wife. Like, yeah. you don't <laughs> see that. Yeah, was... You're like, maybe, like, indie stuff. Um, so I guess Captain America hears about it and uh, proceeds to beat the shit out of Ant Man. He even grows. Turns well, he's a giant, a giant man. He's a giant man, and, and Captain America breaks his leg. Yeah, and punches yeah, him in his awesome. kneecap and shatters his leg. And, uh, well, we're not going to get that Hank Pym in the Ant Man universe, yeah, obviously. And then we get Captain America, which is hilarious that it's Captain America is that way yeah, just because he grew up in a time where, like, that Women were not respected. Right, it was well, fine. That was fine. You know, that was the, spa- the spaghetti's not, Yeah. You know. well, <laughs> <doesn't> <laughs> he's like, the spaghetti sucks. He's a mess. It doesn't right. mean he, he was like that. Oh, no, because, he's, because he grew up like that. He's the that. American, yeah, he's the he's American, American version hero. of what Americans think they are. Right. That's what he is. He's but like, he's, oh, he's, this is what America's like. No, no, no. It's no. not. It's Americans would not be like Captain America. But That's I, what we think we are. I would I would go side by side into war with Captain America. Not to go off on the Ant-Man tangent, but Ant- Captain America just seems like a guy you want to do good with all the time. Well, because it's Captain America. Right. Ant-Man, you're yeah. like, what are you going to fly gonna, gonna, fucking be? You're going to rob a bank? Yeah. <laughs> you're going to be like, you're going to like sting the enemy. So, so I'm not too crazy for the Ant-Man movie. Um, what do you guys think? Is it, is I don't it exciting? Think I, don't, I don't have any interest other than Paul Rudd, like, right. and I don't know enough about the character to be kind of, it, and it's not like when I went to Guardians, uh, you know, it's like, okay, this like, just, well, it just looks yeah. good. When mm-hmm. I'm looking at Ant-Man, it's just, yeah, the more I see it's like it, another the less cash interested. grab. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, let's yeah, just that's throw, what I saw. let's, that's what I saw. let's just, okay, he was not good enough to be in the Avengers movies, which he should have been, and yeah. I think he would have yeah, been better in the Avengers I movies. I think so. Because he would have been, like, how they're done with Scarlet Witch. Side character. Yeah. Right. Develop him slowly. Right. I'll be interested when he oh, can no, no, grow no, no. because I, see I saw Ant yeah. Man in the '90s in a few comics that I saw, and he could like he was as big as a building if you want. Well, see, yeah. and that's what they did in the Ultimate comic. He he grew really big, and then Captain America decided. To, right. geez, I'm still I mean, beat your ass. from what I've heard so far, he, did. he beat his ass so bad, <laughs> yeah. he broke his leg. I mean, he oh, wow. beat his ass. Well, it's because he found out that <laughs> He's he found out that Hank Pym beat his wife, and then oh, Captain well, America's then, like, there you well, go. He got actually a broken leg is actually pretty pretty good let off. You know, for what well, kind it's of because he's so Calendary. big that Captain America pretty much jumped giant. him. Yeah. I think he punched him or he hit him with a shield, but I remember him hitting him. And you're like, oh, okay, well, you're done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Didn't he climb him at one point, like I punch his face? So. It was nice. so cool. Because yeah. Yeah. he tries to like smash him right. when he's fighting him, but it's so it's so one sided. He was almost like a sentinel kind of just yeah. like you knew Pim's not gonna win. <laughs> just because uh, I mean I don't know enough about it. I know he's smart. He's like a scientist. Hank Pim's very smart. Right. Yeah. Hank Pym is the guy in the comics with the Pym particles, with the right. whole suit. He's actually teamed up with a Howard Stark to create Ultron. Obviously, that's not how right. it is in the movies. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. This doesn't even exist at that point. Ultron is awful. We'll get to that. Sorry. Oh, oh yeah, we can go back to that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of want to go back to that. <laughs> but, uh, from, from, Ant-Man, I just from what I've heard, people who've seen it, Van Screening's already seen Ant-Man, a lot of people are saying it's one of Marvel's best. Wow. I know. They say it's up there with Iron Man 1. Wow. Yeah, but I, I think know. that's like people that are like cult of the new. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. if it's just come out, it's yeah, like the fresh. best thing. Oh, this is amazing. This yeah. is the best new. thing ever. That was, just... Again, we're going to touch on it later, but that was the thing with the new Avengers movie. It's just like, oh, it's so amazing. Right. I could just rip that up. Sit back. Yeah, but then. You but know, you do that with really any movie. True, but yeah. I mean, I again, we'll I know what you're saying. But I'm saying, you know, like Ant Man's like, good. Uh, like, now. I'm, I'm going to watch it. Yeah, I probably won't go watch it opening weekend. Hey, I'll probably catch like the matinee. Opening weekend is like it's this week. Tomorrow. It's Couple days, yeah. Tomorrow. Tonight, actually. The midnight release. Are they doing Thursday midnight? I think so. Yeah. 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 Okay. So then it'll be tomorrow. Yeah. But what are because Megan like we haven't heard much about you for Ant Man. What do you guys think? I'm, I'm on board. I mean, here's the thing with it. Marvel, Marvel's walking a very fine line right now. Um, it seems like right now they can't do any wrong. Pretty much. Yeah. And that's kind of where it's at. Um, now I do worry a little bit. Again, we'll touch on it later. I do have concerns from the previous uh, major release for that. Yes. Um, but for the most part, you gotta you gotta look across the board, movie for movie, regardless of what they put on there, mm-hmm. and you gotta say, yeah, these are solid films. They've had more hits than misses. Than way more. And I mean, I can't even think of a miss. I, I know they're out there, yes. but it's like I can't like well, come and like, oh, this one's a Iron movie. Man three. Iron Man three. Okay, Iron Man three. But you gotta talk to I me. Mean, how many years ago was that? Now? 
Uh, five. But five box office wise, they made their money. Dollar oh, wise, yeah. is great. But it was, oh, it was and now they don't have to make any more. But it was the least successful anyway. of all the Iron Man. Right. Yeah, well, it should have been because it was the Mandarin. But anyway. Well, so yeah. wait, so you're talking about recent movies that you can think of that were bad? Well, I mean, even even from Marvel. If you go from Marvel, Marvel since 2008. Oh, okay, Star- so, but, but like Iron Marvel Man. as like a company, or are we talking about like Fox movies? The cinematic universe. Okay, because okay. Let's just start. Let's just start where basically the Phase One, from the best of my knowledge, started with Iron Man. Well, Colonel Hulk. Okay, so let's start with Incredible Hulk. Obviously, it was not a good movie. <laughs> I liked the movie. It was much better the, than the, the original the Hulk. The first of the three Second. that have come out. Okay. The, the one with Edward Norton. Norton is. I, I like that movie. It was better than the other one. Well, yes. Yeah, well, no, the, the other one. The other one was like, the other one will be better. I'll fight an elemental monster and win. Plus, the fight at the sense. end with the abomination yeah. was awful. Awesome. I almost said awful. I don't know why. It was awful. It was awful. It was awful. It was a UFC fight. It was awful. I can just tell you that character, but the guy that played, that ended up becoming the abomination. Tim Roth. He's an awesome actor. He was in Reservoir Dogs. Yeah, him getting hit into that jeep, and you're like, oh, you're dead. That's what he would do. But if we, go back, if we go back to the Iron Man point. Well, yeah, but I'm saying if, six you go, if, you go, if you go on Iron Man and yes. go forward from there, yeah, yeah. excluding Iron Man 3, because I'll give you that, because I have major issues with that. <coughs> what other movie have you seen that's been bad? Well, not bad. I didn't really care for Iron Man 2. They could have done a lot more with Whiplash. What? I loved Iron Man 2. Yeah. I thought Whiplash, yeah. no, he could have been deeper. I thought it was good. good. The first one. Yeah, nah, Iron maybe. Two, it's a good well, one. Iron Man 2, I went with so high expectations because of Iron Man 1. True. I was definitely but how much of that was your expectation as opposed to it being a bad movie? Because, I mean, I did the same thing going into Avengers, it, it but wasn't, I can honestly say that the second Avengers was off. It wasn't, yeah, you were not <laughs> bad movie. It wasn't nearly as good as Iron Man 1. You can't even debate No, that. I mean, no, because Iron Man 1, well, you get the introduction, you get a really good origin story. Which, an accurate origin story. An accurate origin yes. story, which, you know, it's was hard smooth, to do. Yes. and it wasn't it wasn't overplayed. Right, they didn't spend too long on it. It really didn't, yeah. you know. Yeah, he even looked like the original Iron Man. Like, it did, they, he did. If you look at the and comic, the you're like, suits. holy shit, I yeah. think they just pulled that. But see, I, as being a, a huge Iron Man fan, I, and maybe it's clouded a little bit, I oh, don't, right. like, the first one is, I don't think it's as good as everybody thinks. Thinks really the wow, first Iron Man yeah. movie. I think it's a good movie. I love Jeff Bridges, so anything he's in, I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the second one with Justin Hammer, um, who's played and uh, by, uh, Mickey Rourke, the right, but Justin Hammer's played by uh, Sam Rockwell, which is a great actor, fantastic. It's yeah. really, I love, and maybe because fresher because I just saw the second yeah, one yeah. again. Okay, uh, like yesterday, the day before. I watched it before I came here. Actually, I, I think I watched it yesterday. I watched uh, it while I slept. I, I all loved day. it. I loved it. I loved that. Okay. I loved the no, second movie. I'll, I'll have to rewatch it because I haven't seen the first one, two. I gotta side with you on the second movie, by the way, because it they downplayed stuff a little bit, right? Which I think that like got misinterpreted. But, yeah. You know, like some of the stuff that they downplayed, like when that thing happened at the race, the car. Oh yeah, we yeah, 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 yeah. car. Okay, like I kind of took that as like, okay, this isn't a super epic battle, but there's a whole stadium of people that are that watching was this cool. happen. I mean, and, and his Iron Man suit came out of a there's, suitcase. Yeah, there's definitely yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, yeah. And then you think your next thought is like, well, of course he's got one of those. I mean, right. I wouldn't think of it, but when I saw it, I'm like, that makes sense. I like the yeah. story more in the second one too. Really? Because well, because in the second one. Everybody's uh, giving him God. so much shit mm-hmm. because they're like, you said He's, this couldn't happen for yeah. 20 years, and there's a guy He's that literally right has now. almost the same suit as you now in, yeah. in some third world shithole mm-hmm. can make this kind of, you know, they're weaponizing the stuff that you don't. And it's so, I think it's so much more of like a struggle with Tony Stark because now right. he's like, because you know, he's all about, he's like a, like a war profiteer that doesn't yeah. like to profit off of war. Yeah. He's you know ironic. I mean? He's an ironic like, businessman. Right. Yeah. He's like, I'll sell all this shit to S.H.I.E.L.D., but you're not getting my Iron Man suits. Yeah. So yeah. It's just not happening. But at the end of the third one, he blows them all up anyway. That's yeah. true. And then you get and then the Ultra War one, he has Machine. Back, yeah. Which I love War Machine. Uh, you get War Machine in the second one, and you're like, oh, okay. I'm fine with that. Which, which uh, it should have it still been Terrence Howard. Oh, Terrence I Howard really is agree. one of my favorite actors. And when they switched him out, Ever. because I think it was like a money issue. It was. It was. It was. Something, something political. Well, I, mean, I definitely yeah. prefer Don Cheadle, personally. As I would, an actor. If he had started, I'd have been fine. I, I told you that. I yeah, know, but so. the switch is just too, it's jarring. It's too it's a different. Yeah. 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 I, I know. Too different. I do want to get back to Anna. Right. I do have one thing to say about why I feel Iron Man 1, because I hear 2 is a bit big on the table I right now. Think yeah, yeah, I think it's 2. Think, think to yourselves real quick, if you can, if you remember seeing the first movie. Yeah. The the moments for me, there's two moments that stand out. I didn't even see it in theaters. And not even either. Oh, I did. But there's two yeah, moments for you that stand out. First is the introduction of Tony Stark. Now, yes. Obviously, Robert yeah. Downey Jr. Oh, yeah. And seeing him as Tony Stark, you're like, holy shit. He's perfect. This is perfect. Right. The second part for me, and this it's just it's perfect for Iron Man, and this is why that movie really resonates with me, is when he first goes, I uh, kind of really start doing the suit thing and trying to save the village or whatever mm-hmm. like that. And there's a tank scene. 
where the tank fucking shoots at him. Yeah. And he yeah. just shoots that one little missile or whatever it was. <laughs> hits the tank and he just fucking walks away. Yeah. As it blows that was the fuck awesome. up. Right. I mean, that was incredible. I mean, you could. I mean, that right there was probably it, one of the best shot. Now, granted, CG, I get it. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I mean, one of the best shot pieces of film that right. I've he, seen. He became a badass. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. was yeah. like, oh, holy he's a shit. And the show his personality. Exactly. I knew that what he made was going to get killed immediately. Exactly. Right. The I will give it to you. The beginning. Of Iron Man is fantastic. Yes. When he's on that Hummer and they get hit with the IED, oh, yeah. and then that whole scene there, him, yeah. him building a suit with the yeah. guy, it was so what everybody wants from comics and books. Yeah. You want pretty much what happens in the comics yeah, and yeah. books to happen in the movie. And and you got it. And they show that you can do it well. Yeah, I, def- I definitely preferred the Iron Monger as the villain in Iron Man One than Whiplash in Two. Uh, you, def- you definitely need the opposite. Yeah, Whiplash is it's Whiplash it's Mickey Rourke. I mean, Whiplash is so looked cooler. Yeah, definitely. With my bird. Yeah, he looked cooler. <laughs> my bird. Perfect. I was like, I'll you, get you, sir, Mickey Rourke. <laughs> I think I'll get you a bird. He, he looked a lot cooler. I, I definitely think uh, Iron Man Jeff Bridges had more substance to him. I just uh, thought it was too like corny. I love Jeff Bridges, but I don't yes. think he did it. What, like when they're like fighting on the street, he's just kind of like. He was like he's like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. If he was like, yeah. if he was a, a, a girl robot, tin can. he's like, I'm the man, and he just gives him a big kick, yeah. and he's like kicks him through a bus, which is a, visually and special effects wise, it's awesome. Right. Yeah. They're great fighting. Well, it's, but it's, when, when it's Whiplash so... cuts that car in half, yes, and and, awesome. and like you said, in their stadium with a hundred thousand people, yeah, and they're all just they're not even getting up to run. They're like, well, they're, what's they're gonna in shock. Yeah. I would too. It's the arena. Welcome to Rome, bitches. Yeah. Right, I liked it. Pay per view shows up with the cameras. They're already like scramble. We're rolling, we got rolling. something. Get HBO going. And then it had a lot of Scarlett Johansson, which I'm never. Oh, never bad thing. Yeah. Other oh, than yeah. the fact that her being Black Widow makes no fucking we, sense. We'll get to that. We know you. We know you don't like that. I hate it. She's so, so good, but go back to Ant Man. Ant Man. Ant Man. We're crying. We're crying. So I, we'll I get am. As you can bunch. tell, as you can tell, we're all excited for Ant Man. Yeah, super excited. we care about. I am actually excited for the film. Okay. Going into it as a comic book fan, because yes. uh, this one you have to, I think. Oh, yeah, I, I don't yeah, think yeah. you're going to go in as a, just a, a nonchalant guy. Well, unless you really love Paul Rudd, like, like, like myself. Yeah, yeah. I love yeah. So, I mean, I, 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 I can appreciate Ant-Man. Man. Don't get me wrong. I, I understand that he's B.C. hero. I understand that. I know yeah. what I'm getting. But uh, I'm, I'm excited to see. I'm excited to see the uh, the, the CG on it because yes. you've got a lot of range here. I mean, mm-hmm. you've got you've got the, you know full man that's now going to be right. shrunk down, and then yeah. you have the world that he lives in. Mm-hmm. You know, it's kind of like I mean, all most of us at the table grew up with Honey I Shrunk the Kids. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. so yeah. It's yeah. so I mean, it's kind of like that. I mean, which I guess is nostalgic <laughs> for me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like if Honey I Shrunk the Kids. And- Rick Moranis was a superhero. Was a superhero. <laughs> 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 done. Right? Like kids are super chill. But do you think it's going to suffer from, and I don't know, for lack of a better term, like Star Wars syndrome where it's too much CG? Maybe. From yeah. what I've heard, I they're using very little CG. Oh, good. In, when he shrinks down, it's a lot of uh, high-speed photography, uh, uh, high-def cameras so we can zoom in on like actual blades of grass and stuff. Right. It's not, okay. And they're using like actual ants as well. They have like an ant trainer on sets. What? It's not like yeah, it's not, that's a whole other issue. I'm okay with Ant-Man. I'll put crumbs here and watch them fly. Yeah. Like it's, <laughs> not, <laughs> it's not CG. <laughs> <laughs> I told them to do yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. They pay me hundreds of thousands of dollars. Look at this. But it's <laughs> like a <laughs> against cookie crumbs. But it's like, ridiculous that they're going to that length to make it look like realistic. Like real ants Real blades of grass with high speed photography of, of Paul Rudd running alongside them. Yeah, I just. I, I think that'd be really I, cool to see. I just you don't. Know. I can't make a, a judgment because I don't know enough about Ant Man. But yeah. me not knowing enough about Ant Man and him just not seeing that appealing, yeah. it just doesn't. That, that's you that's know, why I feel so you gotta much be a other fan. things. Yeah, I mean, I really this, this is the first one I said you gotta be a fan. Just, yeah. Yeah. Like, like, I'm definitely gonna save up and watch Southpaw next week instead. <laughs> you know? No, no, I'll be I'll be a Southpaw too. Thank you. Yeah. My only exposure just, to Ant Man is Hank Pym with Janet Pym, right. and so I've never even seen the Scott other. Yeah, yeah. So this to me, I'm going to have to walk, just take in as just a movie. Yeah, you know, I'm not going like to be able to. Yeah. You know. And I'm really glad they're not using Hank Pym, just for the sole fact that he's so vanilla if he's not Ultimate Universe. <laughs> yeah. It's like making a movie on just Mr. Fantastic. Oh, okay. So, but a little, he's stretching. Well, I was saying, if we're going to segue to that, if you make a movie about all the Fantastic Four and nobody gives a shit. But I'm more excited. <laughs> you, have, you have four people that nobody cares about at all. But I'm definitely more excited for that than Ant Man. Fox's next movie coming out in August is the Fantastic Four, the, the reboot. The reboot of the reboot? Of the atrocity we had. Yeah, the reboot of the reboot. The atrocities. The atrocities of, of the reboot. The atrocities. Yeah. 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 No, what you meant is that. Food board. 
There it is. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So they're rebooting that. Shit. Yes. They're, they seem to be making it a lot more grounded and scientific, and it seems like their origin story is being a, a pull off the Ultimate Universe, yeah. where instead of the, the the Fantastic Four family going up in the space getting their powers, they travel to another dimension. You know, like inner dimension, like kind of like interstellar travel, yeah. different dimension in their powers. Yeah, yeah, go through portals and crap. Right. Yeah. Uh, Stargate. Yeah, 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 almost like Stargate S, Stargate Interstellar. And it seems a lot more realistic and grounded. It doesn't seem nearly as campy as Jessica Alba as the fucking invisible one. Right. I right. like the atrocities. Like, That's fine. <laughs> oh my god! There's some <laughs> sound bite. There's somebody out there. I like atrocities. Yeah. I mean, I the more people, the better. I like the 1990s Fantastic Four made from a German guy under a million bucks, much better than these. <laughs> yeah. That I've seen. You saw that the Roger Corman one. Yes, I have seen that, oh, and I worked for it too to see it because you kind of have to. You have, yeah, the you get to see the underbelly internet for that. The extent of the two Fantastic. Fantastic okay. Fours that I've seen is what's playing on like stars yeah. at two o'clock in the morning. So I've seen over the course of the past like five years, I've seen probably ten percent. Yeah, you've seen enough. And the parts that I've seen, like okay, the, the very first thing I saw was from I think the second one, because Silver Surfer was there. Yeah, oh, the second one. He's like the god, the god powered dude who like he can just do whatever he wants. I saw him get he get knocked off his surfboard. Which doesn't and he, happen. He couldn't do anything. I'm like, no, I don't know anything about this guy, but. He shouldn't need a surfboard to be the silver surfer. And I found out later that I was right, and that's just something they added. Well, not, I mean, a surfboard is attached to him. He's not really attached to it. Okay. Like, he can send a surfboard off and do missions on its own and call it back. Okay. But even without the surfboard, he's still powerful copy. Right. Because they take it from him. Yeah, they take a surfboard. He's, he's so fucking. Yeah, he's, he's, like, he's, like, he's like, give me back my board. I'm like, right. Like, the board has a mind of its own in the comics. Like, okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. But the, the new Fantastic Four, I love the look of it. You know, it looks not, I won't say realistic, because it's, it's a giant rock monster and a guy on fire. But it looks, yeah. looks, looks a lot more realistic than the original. It's a little more guys. serious. Yeah, a little more serious, yeah. less campy. Like I, I've told everybody, my favorite Marvel villain is Doctor Doom. In the little snippet we've seen in the trailer, he looks awesome, as long as they never remove the mask. You know? Right. I, I thought the, in the original one, the guy that played Doom, the guy from Nip Tuck, why? I thought I didn't know. <laughs> oh, he was. From the he was. <laughs> I didn't think he was that bad because he he was. The costume looked cool. I'll give it that. It's I don't think he, enough. The character I he was, was awful. just so creepy, though. I mean, maybe not creepy. Maybe it wasn't the good Doom. You show Doom more often with, without the mask on than with it on. In the comics, he never removes his mask. It's part That's of his true. thing. Yeah, but it, maybe they were trying. They don't to, do that. They were trying to have some shred of like. Yeah, because like, he still has right? to be like a. Person. Yeah. You know what I, mean? yeah. I didn't think he, once he put on the mask, he didn't take it off. No, because his, his face got disfigured yeah. in space, right. so he was but afraid to look himself. I think of all the things that happened in the, with that character, I think that was the throwaway thing. And it's not that it's not important to the character, mm -hmm. but they were thinking probably, okay, we got to make a movie. Right. It's got to be pretty. Yes. The guy from Nip Tuck is He's somehow pretty. willing to do this garbage. Yeah. yeah. And because he, he was, was on Nip Tuck. He was on Nip Tuck. It's true. And now, yeah, whenever... It was a really big show for a while. Whenever I see yeah. Nip Tuck now, he's going to be Doc. He's Doom. Doom. Yeah. yeah, he was. He he's, does, yeah. he's Doom the plastic surgeon. That's just too easy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he's already, that's what he does on his off days. He's, he's like, like ah, I can't run this yeah. country. Yeah. I'm a doctor in name yeah. only, but that's then I'm so really cool. a doctor <laughs> not in name yeah. only. I'm a different doctor. I make people pretty. His day job But I'm definitely more excited for that than Ant-Man coming out. Yeah. Because you can't do any worse than the atrocities we've had with Two Fantastic Four movies. I know you like them, Megan. <laughs> but when was the last time you saw them? It's been a minute. It yeah. Has been a minute. So yeah. watch okay. them before August. Come back to us. Yeah. Let us know. All right. And that, for that, for me, Chris Evans was uh, the torture. He was the best for part a little of the movie. Bit, I for agree. a little bit. But then when Captain America came out, I was upset. Right. I was upset. And then I saw it, and you know, I started seeing the Avengers, and I was America. like, okay, he's Captain yeah. America. Well, see, that's. <laughs> I mean, he that's was. Where I might disagree a little bit. He's definitely he, Captain he, America. He came. The movie version of Captain America. That makes sense. That's he the only was do. perfect yeah. Johnny Storm. He was, but he was, he was the only. Like, yeah, he, was he was like how he was the only Ryan good Reynolds. Character, yeah. He was yeah. like, yeah, it was like Ryan good. Reynolds probably could have been Johnny Storm as well. Yeah, just yeah. because he's that character. They could have. Got to be a cocky, him. funny guy, he's, good looking. He's really, really good as Captain America. Like, yes. so, I was really surprised they it with him. how well they did. Because them switching casting like that, it was just Well, like, they originally didn't want Chris Evans as Captain America. They wanted, I, you would never pick They him. wanted uh, Jim from The Office. Which, oh, John Krasinski? Yeah. 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 See, I love The Office, one of my favorite shows oh, I ever, too. but uh, that I would be terrible. Really? I'll say two names about the new Fantastic Four. Okay. Josh Trank. Yes. And I'm 
going to say two names and then some other things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotcha. Oh, you got um, one name. Okay, so Josh Trank because of Chronicle. Chronicle's great. You gotta see Chronicle. Yeah, so it's like a handheld, it. almost monster it's, superhero it's movie. Oh, yeah. It's underrated, yeah. Yes. underrated, 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 underrated. So Chronicle, Chronicle, Chronicle. <laughs> to the third power. Chronic. Isn't that Chronic. Those kids get the, Chronic L. Yeah. Those kids get like superpowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Essentially, yeah. Yeah. And then one of them kind of. And it's 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 filmed like found footage. Yes. Yeah. It's but it's like, got it's shaky like, hands. Fighting at the fighting at that movies. No, and awesome. It's awesome. Great and it's like the Blair White the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> <laughs> if it was good. Oh, if it, I love Blair Witch. If it was good. <laughs> no more candies. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And, <laughs> okay. And Michael B. Jordan, who is also playing Apollo Creed's son in, the in Creed, Creed and this guy is well, one of my favorite. And he was in. No, you working for him? I mean. No, he's just that. <laughs> Have you seen Fruitville Station? Was, no, and he was in Chronicle. He right, was yeah. In Chronicle. Yeah, Chronicle. Yeah, he was. Great. He's really good. So um, was uh, uh, Miles Teller. <coughs> but no, I have, I have high hopes for Fantastic Four. Like you said, Josh Trang, yeah. Chronicle, Michael yeah. B. Jordan. I, I like the fact that they're going a new direction. Yes, I mean, serious they, direction. They've obviously, well, not even that. Just something that completely and says, you know what? Good or bad, depending on how you feel about it, it's not going to be part of what we're doing. And we're right. going to do our own Fantastic Four. Yes. Um, and obviously we have the thing. Uh, for me, which, like is, great which for me is the biggest thing I'm excited for, because not that the original thing in the first movies was horrible. I like the casting. Uh, it was uh, Michael... Michael Chiklis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shield. Yeah. Shield. I didn't he mind was perfect. perfect. He was the best. He was perfect. He was yeah, I, didn't, I didn't mind him. He, he, he may have been the one good thing about yeah. those I thought he was like the very little cast. Like no pun yeah. intended, yeah. the one good thing. Yeah. Yeah. It was an action. I thought the whole... I thought it was... I didn't think it was that bad the cast, because Reed Richards, the actor, yeah. I think yeah, kind of played him was Al great. Al was the issue. Uh, yeah, why would you get one of the hottest women in Hollywood at that time to, to be the invisible woman? And <laughs> not only that, well, because she was but Miller, <laughs> even laid more, back, even just more Miller than Mr. Fake. You know, I got yeah. kids, you know. Yeah, but like, you know, just not, but how, you know. Uh, but how like prevalent is that character anyway? Like, were you really that disappointed to be like, oh, the Invisible Woman's just kind of? I was like already disappointed overall. Yeah. So who cares? <laughs> this is all the opening all... scene shows like, done. <laughs> but like of all the characters in that, like if she's the one that's just kind of like bland, who really cares? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. one's a rock monster, the guy lights himself on fire, and then the other guy can stretch across. Which was, the room. you know, that's a great she, point. She can turn <laughs> invisible, but who really cares? Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's not the extent. The one person you can never see is the most boring character. It doesn't matter. She's the hottest one in the cast. Then, oh, oh, so she is. <laughs> but she does have more in the comics than I can't believe one. I can't believe I'm going to defend the Fantastic Four because oh, it's, do it. it's a uh, horror, this is not the here. movie, but the comic oh, I don't enjoy. I, I got a point for that after a minute. I don't enjoy the comic as a, as a rule. Right. But uh, Sue Storm. Storm. Yeah, Storm. I want to make yeah. sure I had it right. Storm, in the comic, is much more layered than yes. what they, oh, they portrayed in the, in, the, yeah. in, the mo- in the movie. She's just the invisible woman. She goes invisible. That is so far from what happens yeah. with yeah. her. Yeah, right. You know, they, they, just, they just basically played off the name, and that was all they mm-hmm. did. They're like, yeah. oh, she's going to disappear woman. a lot. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and the, 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 the fields and stuff like that. And she did a whole a bit um, in the 90s where she went uh, to another character on Malice. If I yeah, yeah. Like, and she was just like, Evil. But really? They, yeah, just evil. Like, I mean, now she looks like an S and M. Well, no, I was like, that, that was the nineties. <laughs> she general. was evil, like horned hat and everything. Was bad. She goes to hot top, and she's like, "So I'm gonna be a villain." Exactly. She's like, I need all the leather, <laughs> like all the leather you in your store. What do you got? Yeah, you have anything that has nightmare before Christmas. Yeah, yeah. I want it all. <laughs> but at any rate, yes. um, fantastic that movie. Fantastic Four. I, yeah. I, I do, I do feel it's got potential <laughs> because they're because yeah, they are scrapping everything, and that's why I have hate. I agree. I don't know that it's gonna be good but I, I think it's got a chance. Now, I, what, what I think, based off the trailers, I think they're, what I hope they're basing off, it could be complete bullshit. I hope they're basing off of Great Morrison's run he had in the 90s for the Fantastic Four, where he had, it was like the ultimate universe, so the inter- interdimensional space travel, of Victor Powers, but he made me care about Reed Richards because he made him autistic, which really explained his lack of social skills, his high intelligence, and there's really no way he gets too strong. Let's be honest with that. Yeah. Uh, a super intelligent nerd who can't really talk to you getting Sue Storm. Hey. Right. So it made Yeah, me... but he's like, but his like super intelligence is like beyond. Oh, it's autistic like. <laughs> well, it's beyond it's autistic esque. Like, right. It's beyond super intelligence to the point. Well, and, and he's then, the smartest guy in the Marvel universe, unless you talk to Doctor Doom. Yeah, but if you like look at Strange, like, it's Reed Richards. But I'm saying, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is definitely up there. I'm saying, I would, I would have well, Illuminati. Say, cause, yeah, you got the Illuminati. Right, right well, that's kind of why which, I put it on the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're all yeah, up there. Uh, yeah, Moving us in it, right. Black Bolt's in it. Iron Man's in it. Iron Man's in it. Yeah, but Iron Man's also super genius. Because that's another thing I had to talk to my wife about. Because she doesn't believe that Iron Man's superhero. He is. We had a huge conversation. Had a near divorce fight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, a, it's really? the point where it's like, even if he didn't have powers per se, 
He's a super genius. He is. So that's his. He like, built a suit from scratch. Right. There's some people that are that can be so smart. That's sort of it. Yeah. Like when you're super. That's all fine, but it's Steve Haw- Stephen Hawking, a superhero. Then. Uh, like Stephen a Hawking can't actually physically talk to you, so well, no. <laughs> Toy Story can walk around and wave his arms. Well, he's so cool. Iron Man no. Iron Man's like, Dad, my wheelchair can fly and shoot lasers. Then Stephen Hawking would be like. Badass. <laughs> I mean, you put an averagely intelligent I, guy in the Iron Man suit, it'll do the same so, shit. Uh, true. No. You put yeah. Rhodey in one. I mean, they can't make it, but once it's made, it's already right. But that if, is if the you, if you the break suit. it, then they're like, well, you put yeah. Rhodey in one. Yeah. Yeah. You put Pepper in one. Pepper in one. Norman Osborn. That's, yeah. well, that's what I don't Norman like. The, well, the Iron Patriot is just crazy. I love that. The Iron Patriot's fantastic. Right. But it doesn't. See, that's why I don't agree with it, is you shouldn't be able to. You can't just put anybody in it. It's like just throwing somebody in a tank and being like, try this. You you just put it You you can point to two things that I need. The one that makes me move and the one that makes me shoot, I could probably do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're going to figure it out. You can make a suit. (laughs) No, 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 no. No. Just because. Bullshit, you can just put a regular guy in in a suit. Like, balance alone, you try to take off in that suit, you'll kill yourself. Well, just like putting somebody underneath the cow. There's no way. No way. That's race car driving. I can just. I can just watch. Yes, race car drivers. I couldn't drive a NASCAR 200 miles an hour. I couldn't. If I go 80, I'm just like, those guys literally start on go karts. And they, they work their way up a ladder of, like, the increasing yeah, we were down there. We speed. Just, we just went what I'm saying, though, their whole it's, it's, it's insane what they That's what I'm saying. You could yeah. literally yeah. just oh, put yeah. somebody would, in, that, in the, the NASCAR and be like, drive. Because once you get to 100, you're going to kill yeah, yourself. Yeah, exactly. Well, like, cause people are like, oh, I can drive. And you drive 80 and you, you don't realize it. Yes, yeah, yeah. you actually go to a NASCAR event. You see those cars by, they're just blurred. No, the walls, the walls up. are so high up. Pretty much sideways and, like, 60 feet in the air. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I you, just wonder. You're going to tell me you're going to drive at that and know what to do. I'll go, what? Yeah. And I'm dead. Yeah. Well, it's like putting, like putting anybody in the cape and cow for Batman. Anybody can wear that, but they're not Batman. Yeah. But it's not, yeah, but, but it's not, it's a completely do, different suit. No, no, like I'm yeah. saying, you, you put anybody in a suit for Iron Man, but they're not Iron Man. Yeah, but you can't, you know. If you, you can do it with practice, it's not a, it's not a super. You can't put Iron Man suit on and immediately know how to do this. You just can't. But maybe in a week. Maybe in a week. You can practice, no. you know, it's just a week. You still would be Iron Man. Yeah, you can learn. Here it is. If 24 straight hours a day for a week, then maybe. Think about Tony Stark. Just bounce alone trying to fly. No. That's what I was about to say. Think about Tony Stark the first time he tried to fly in the suit. Yeah, he fell. That like would be everything you try to do in the Iron or? Man suit, except it would involve hurting yourself and other people because you literally have no weapons. clue what you're doing. Which he knew. He built the suit. He knew what it right. was capable of, and he still could have control it. Now, now, if you put Bruce Wayne in that suit and gave him a day or he two, could do it. Well, it's going to be the new <laughs> Superman, <laughs> in the Batman movie, because that's what he looks like. Yeah. Like, oh, cool, it's awesome. Iron. Yeah. We'll get to that in a minute. But that's what oh, I yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That's my last guy. Yeah. When I see him, I'm like... He looks awesome, but no, no, we, 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 we must look old. Yeah. How do you feel about Fantastic Four, Megan? Like the, the new movie. I mean, I'm, I'm okay. Like, I, I don't like change. I know. You know that. So, <laughs> so I'm like, no, there's already Fantastic Four movies. Why would we make more? Well, there's already Batman so that's movies, me. too. But also, I, I've always felt that, like, comic books are kid things. They're still kid things sure. to me. Yeah. So, like, the fact that it does look more serious, whereas the other one, you know, it was a family movie. Very kiddie, this one looks kid-like. way more serious. Yes. I don't know that I'll be super serious. Yeah. Okay. Do you see comic book kids do? I still do, you know? Well, there's a lot of, there's comics that are very diverse. I know, there's there are definitely some that are not. There's comics for everybody now. <laughs> yeah, but, but they're very, you know they are. You're going to look at a Mickey Mouse comic. That's for kids. Which we have 50 of. I'm not going to let a six-year-old be a Witches, comic, right. Or a uh, Wolverine comic. Right. Or, right. right. It's, it, well, I would love it. There are people that do. I understand. Yeah. Well, yeah. my daughter's old I enough. Would. She loves it. But, okay, honey, yes. You understand? It's not real. We'll go through that conversation. Yeah. But it's like so... Well, definitely not Deadpool. It's so... Over the top. Right. Same with Harley Quinn. But... Right. I would never let her read The Killing Joke and give her nightmares forever. No, yeah. no. Witches. Yeah, you'd never have to have I'd never let her read witches. Nobody right. could ever ring a doorbell for the rest of your life if you read The Killing Joke. Right? right? It's, it's like if you see Psycho when you're too young, you can't take a shower ever again. Or Jaws go, can't go into water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but now you can't really, you really can because now apparently they're oh, yeah, walking up onto the shore and just yeah. laying there. Well, we live in Florida, it's true. so I mean. You can never go into water. The border's on fire, you only got water. Yeah. 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 I just
just want to say, yeah, it's almost, it's almost related now, but there was, there was a white, uh, great white shark. There was a great white shark that washed up on the beach. Yeah, I saw that video. Oh, um, video, yeah. Yeah. And I just, I'm like, so they're literally just waiting for people to walk by now. Like, that's, this wasn't an accident. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm being completely sarcastic here, but that's, like, well, that's true. I mean, like, maybe they all got together and they were like, so you get any humans? Like, they're like, no, I heard Roy got one last week. And he's like, but he had to throw himself up on the land. And they're all like, whoa, well, that's a good idea. Well, I mean, it. see, it, I just don't think they'll have happened in water just because the planet's like, we got most of our actors to begin with. Yeah, Aquaman rules. You got, you got, right, a book. Yeah. The only way, Aquaman, see, Aquaman would only rule if it was like fucking water. Was terrible. Thank so you. Yeah. that's the only way. That's like Aquaman. That's Aquaman's world. Aquaman, that's Aquaman's, 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 if Aquaman ruled the world, it would be Water World, and it would be terrible. Aquaman isn't relegated to just the ocean. He can walk on land. Yeah, but then he's fine. Yeah, but he has, no, he has no. He has no. Because he, he lived. No, this is actually kind of the only one of the only really interesting things about. Aquaman. He has no land. He can go on land. It, it, I can't even say this. And he can he can communicate. I mean, the whole thing of talking to fish, yeah, that's it's funny. But he can control in like aquatic life, anything. So like he, I saw once where like he had a squid like just pull a pirate ship, like new pi like Somalian pirates, like the real ones. Yeah. He literally like, not, not like Jack Sparrow. Like, yeah. 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 Those are real pirates as well. Just for the record. Yeah. 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 We're talking like Captain Phillip pirates. Like modern pirates. Like, modern. modern pirates. He actually has a squid just show up and like just pull their ship down, and he's like, yep, yeah, okay. You go. So, yeah, but you go like a mile so inland, and you're like, "Where's your fucking?" Squid? He can literally get yeah. that <laughs> Oh, I got a great white shark on the beach, though. <laughs> Don't go near that beach. We'll get you. Okay, well, we'll go near can, the beach. He can literally so, pick up a kraken and just throw it at you with a super cool strength. So yeah. it's like dodgeball with kraken. It's, it's, yeah, let's see you do that. that. I can dodge a wrench. Can I dodge a kraken? That's so fine he's now. responsible for Sharknado. Yeah, man. exactly. Yes. There we go. Okay, there's the, there's the tie in. That's yeah. what they're going to say in Sharknado. Sharknado 4, Aquaman's pissed. Yeah, Aquaman's, <laughs> Aquaman's revenge. Yeah. Right. Well, the only the only other thing Aquaman can do, he's like, uh, he he hates Florida. And it will, I mean, he, he probably just makes hurricanes because he's bored. Yeah. He's like, oh, him people store, can't even find Atlantis. Up. They don't even believe it exists. That's how much he sucks. So like, you're like, oh, it's the lost city of Atlantis. No, he's like, no. It's what you do. And they're like, no, no, it's lost. It's lost. So listen to that guy. He's some crazy, he's some crazy, he's some crazy fish dude. Just, just shut him up. Well, he's the opposite of that. He doesn't want people to come to Atlantis. He's like, fuck the humans. Nobody, w I wouldn't no, want he, to. He says that, but he doesn't mean it. No, man. He's, he's just lonely and brooding. I don't even want you guys to come to my party. Yeah. <laughs> just like, try to reverse psychology uh, yeah, what it is. Well, it's like dick have it on land, or maybe like a little higher so we could swim to it. Yeah. Who doesn't want you there? He's like, as long as you don't mess with me, I'm not going to mess with you. This is what like, like pirates have been made the ocean. Yeah. The BP oil spill, he's like, Oh, he was all You're over that. You're fucking my shit up, guys. He, no, he probably just called corporate on them. Like, he didn't even go... <laughs> He's like, I'm going to come play! He's no, just like... You put me on hold for 45 uh, minutes! Are you guys aware that you have Does a compromise? Does he get cell service in the ocean? That's the thing. Probably. That's his, that's his so other problem. That's his other problem. He's the only no, problem. It's yeah, only because it's Batman. Batman. Now. See, those Batman. You know Batman. Batman hooked him up. Get that Wayne Tower plan. Yeah, under underwater. He's like, The wing submarine. Do you know who I am? No, sir. Nobody knows who you are. Nobody knows. This guy knows your name. We don't know his name. I'm gonna talk to BP right now. BP's not a person, sir. <laughs> I see their name on the boat. I thought it was some initials. <laughs> Where's Brian Phillips? Phillips. Yeah. Brian Phillips. <laughs> if you read the new 52 Jeff Jones run of oh, Aquaman, no. nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna do that. You're going to. The so. one person that listens to this is gonna. Right. Not you read that. Because before that, Aquaman was the campy guy. Then he went to the hook hand. Hook hand. Right. With the beard. Everybody, everybody was fucking. Plunging okay. in the nineties. Superman had a mullet. Batman got his back broken. Whatever. Flash died. Well, Superman, got a died. Had the Superman, Superman died. Superman died. Yeah. Removed. He had like, I'm electric man. Then he got a mullet. <laughs> Whatever. Superman, right? Superman, right? If, if you, you're not helping your character, by the way. <laughs> well, yeah, no. Everything in the nineties sucked. No, but, yeah. <laughs> but then they got Aquaman right. Is, is that what, <laughs> what I'm getting there? Oh my there, god. Is <laughs> <Aquaman>. so, <laughs> read the new fifty-two, the new fifty-two run of Aquaman or the Justice League. Uh, fucking uh, creatures from the deep are attacking out of the ocean, attacking land, and Justice League calls and help. Like Superman comes out, he's like, "This is Aquaman, we need your help." He's like, "No, I refuse to join the Justice League because if I do this, I have to leave my people from Atlantis, and who's gonna protect them now? Mera's, Mera's not here. My Atlantean army is get, not gonna be without a ruler. I'm gonna be down here helping you guys with this problem and this problem only." 
So if you read the Justice League comics from now on, he's not a member of the Justice League because he's chilling with Mara solving sea creature problems. <laughs> right? Dude, he's oh my he's God. like, Red Lobster won't leave me the fuck alone. Like, that's his arch nemesis. It's like, they're perfect. Like, if I leave, my people will die. No, just give him a little fish food and come back <laughs> again. There's one cage for the day. Oh, no. He's got a fish tank with goldfish in it. Like, even goldfish aren't free in his world. Like, you're, in a, you're in a tank well, now. There was actually a joke on that. I'm in, like, sure there is. In, like, the first issue of, like, Aquaman's Jeff Johns run, he gets up on land, and he goes to a seafood restaurant. Oh, he's God. chilling. Wager's like, what do you have? He's like, fish and chips. People know who he is. They're like, what? I thought, I thought you loved fish. He's like, shut up. <laughs> what the fuck else is he going to eat? Some guy tries to pick a fight with him. He just gets up, punches him in the face, goes back down and eating his dinner. He's, he's a like, badass now. But anybody yeah. can do with that. Fish like, I literally no, just I, can, I can do that. Well, now he's do that. Walk into shells if I can find one and be like, I want fish and chips. Right. You, you got a problem? <laughs> Let's fight. <laughs> Shut down. Yeah. Yeah. That would be an impressive yeah. yeah. piece. Random crews do that shit all the time. So enough about Aquaman, because I'm done with them. Right. Fucking yeah. the <laughs> most anybody's talked about Aquaman ever. ever. In the history of Aquaman. Ever. Even during its creation. Like, Let's just, just throw some vomit on a page I just, and yeah. call it a thing. All I'm saying is, Justice League movie, Suicide Squad movie, yeah. where did we see him first? Or the Aquaman movie? Oh, yeah. it's gonna be so bad. <laughs> Everybody who's talking shit, I can almost guarantee you're gonna eat their words. So I think the other big topic we had for the day was the uh, Batman Superman. Yes, right. Well, yeah. so we probably need to hit that because we got other things we gotta hit. So that's true. Yeah. You go ahead. Oh, yeah, please do. Yeah. You're the Batman this, connoisseur this, over this, here. This has been festering. This is just him. Yeah. There, there's no Azrael in it. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah no. we're sorry. Azrael's still dead. Uh, you know, I'll give it a pass. Okay, that's okay. okay. <laughs> still dead. Um, okay. So first thing is, I like how they're setting up, like framing. The world and how things are being reacted to. Mm-hmm. Have you seen? Did you see the newest trailer? I have the okay. Comic Con. So, okay. oh, we're gonna be. I'm gonna spoil the shit out of that Comic Con trailer. So, if you, if you haven't seen, seen it, so just talk pause about this, it. go okay. watch the trailer, and then come back. Yeah, you can. Or just or I can just, just watch just, it later. I can just destroy it for you. Yeah, I mean, it's up to you. Um, but anyway, so it opens up with Superman uh, at. I'm assuming the UN. It's, it's the end of May. Yeah, he goes in for a little. He goes in. He, he's basically being held responsible for what happened with Zod. And that kind of sets the tone for the whole movie. Mm-hmm. Um, we we do see what happened in Metropolis through the eyes of Bruce Wayne. Yeah, he, is, he was there during the he was there. Of Steel. And that's awesome. This yeah. sets up everything that you're gonna, if everything you've been wondering. If you haven't read some of the older issues of Batman, and like why are these guys fighting? This is making sense. This is why. Yeah. Um, basically, that building that they did their heat vision deal and flew out of was Wayne uh, Wayne Financial, and it it was destroyed, and everyone in there died. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so Batman's pissed. Batman is pissed. And when I saw Man of Steel, I thought, I was like, man, Bruce Wayne is going to be so pissed off right now. And I didn't even know that it was it was the Wayne building. But I'm right. like, as soon as I saw the Wayne satellite, I'm like, okay, he's yeah. he's around. He's somewhere. He's going to be pretty pissed off. Because before that event happened, he's been Batman for years, but he's given up the cow. Yeah, well, for something I, that happened later on in the trailer. I don't know if he's given it up, though. For something that happened later on in the trailer that probably stopped him from being Batman. Probably, we'll get to that. but it's still... Everybody has a theory, and it, it's anybody's guess. But my yes. theory is that he's like he's light duty Batman. Like he doesn't do. He's like he's just kind of <laughs> like he can only lift five pounds. Yeah, like, like, yeah. Once a so, week. He's got a, he's over got a bad back brace. Part time. Yeah. Um, no, I mean he's, he's got a bad back. You see him. He's in. His, he's in. His, <laughs> he's up there. He's like in his fifties. <laughs> I got a bad back. It's not funny, Batman. Stop. You mean a bad back? <laughs> no. Listen to my yeah, name. Yeah. I am not seeing it. Damn it, Robin. Listen to Someone me. Someone fixed it in Spain. What happened to my back? Okay, so yeah, he's he's into his forties, yeah, yeah. and he's he's been doing this for like twenty years. He's been up there. He's and you. One thing I will give away, one specific detail, is that Wayne Manor has been burnt beyond recognition, <laughs> and you see uh, Alfred walking in this unmowed, unkempt field. That, like he, you just, you know something, and it wasn't like somebody left the oven on. Yeah, yeah. Like somebody figured out he was Bruce Wayne and burnt the shit out of his Which, house, and he doesn't care. If we go back to Alfred, he looks awesome. Though. Trailer. Alfred looks awesome. Jeremy Irons, he looks like Alfred, who's been as he's been in like a like a special force agent. Yeah, it looks like he will kick your ass. Yeah, while serving tea. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's how I want my. He face actually off. looks just as dangerous. <laughs> That's all as my exactly, because from what from what whatever, not to not to stop your point. No, no, no I'm done. That's all I have. Okay. <laughs> I am uh, done. That's it. Because more than that, you just I think people if they haven't seen the trailer, they'll watch it, and if they have, they already know it's. Yeah. Up. So that's all I really. Have from, to say. from what I've heard from Alfred, whether this is true or not, is that he would. When, when Batman is, was still Batman, Alfred would go out on a town with him and take down crime alongside him. Uh, because uh, 
and this is a theory, whether it's true or not, I don't know. But during the trailer, uh, when he's uh, Bruce Wayne's in the Batcave, it pans to the Robin suit, and you see his spray paint. It says, "Ha ha ha, jokes on you." Right. There's a theory going around that he stopped being Batman because of what Joker did to Jason Todd. Ah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Whether that's true, and then this whole Superman thing brings him out of hiding. Yeah. So, now it shows glimpses of Wonder Woman in the trailer, which she looked great. Look, look beautiful. Yeah, so I haven't seen it. Didn't I haven't seen the pictures still. Yeah. Didn't show any acting, so I still don't know if she can act as Wonder Woman. Mm. But she looks great. You know, it shows flashes of like uh, Lex Luthor finding Zod. Mm. I'm like, okay. My only concern is still Luthor. You know, yeah. like, uh, Jesse Eisenberg was a great actor. Why are we seeing Luthor? I, I, well, I'm not even concerned about why are we seeing Luthor. I'm just not sure if he has a gravitas to do Lex Luthor. Oh, Jesse Eisenberg? Yeah. yeah. Gravitas, I think, gonna, I think Jesse Eisenberg is going to be shit. Like I don't, I don't think he's that great of an actor. He's, he's like the poor man's Michael Sarah. Like that's how I see no, him. No, 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 no. That's exactly no. like he's. If you see Zombieland, you're like, oh, this Michael Sarah should be. In I don't think movie. Michael Sarah could have done uh, Mark Zuckerberg. I, all douchey and creepy I like that. I think he's the same. I, I just think they're the same yeah. person. I don't, I don't see any. When you see him the way he talks, his mannerisms and everything, mm-hmm. you're just like, I'm, I'm not. I mean, he could. I'm on the fence with Lex Luthor, Jesse Eisenberg. Same with Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman. Like she looks great. She does. She kicks some ass in the trailer. Don't know if she can act as it. Overall, the trailer looks awesome. You know what happened is everyone wanted Heisenberg for Luther. Yes. And they didn't know it was Brian Cranston, so they just kept saying Heisenberg. And Warner Brothers, I think, because the H is so oh Heisenberg. Huh? They just heard. Oh, they're like, oh Heisenberg. Yeah, yeah we got him. Done. Brian Cranston would have been. Perfect. Oh, you know what? I, I know. It was, so after seeing Breaking Bad, because I always remember him. As, a, as The Hal. dad from Malcolm in the Middle? Yeah. yeah. He's Hal. Yeah. So I'm telling was, you, like, was... if, if we didn't get... I'm okay with Eisenberg, or... Jesse. Uh, Jesse Eisenberg. Jesse, yeah, Jesse, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jesse's back. Shitty Michael Sarah. Um, no. <laughs> better Michael Sarah. No. No, I mean, like, if... I'm okay with him. But if, if something... Yeah. If we could go back in time and, like, I could somehow... I had the power to change it, I would be tempted to see what Cranston would do. Well, obviously. You could, I can see him and Bruce Wayne seeing eye to eye easier because they're around the same age. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and to them, Superman power. would be this punk kid with too much power because that's... I know how bad how Ben Affleck sees him. Yeah. So if I saw him with Cranston... And Cranston has the chops to, to hold his own with these guys. Yeah. He's, oh, he's yeah. Obviously, yeah, yeah. he's an icon now. Oh, yeah. For, for yeah, what Breaking happened with Breaking Bad. So I can see it's it. True. Um, so I mean, I, did they drop the ball? I don't know yet. I don't know. We'll see. Like every superhero casting so far has been on the spot. Yeah. There hasn't been one. I'm like, you weren't good as 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 and, a oh, hero. Oh, like general. Yeah, in general, oh. Marvel, DC, all the heroes have been cast <laughs> great. All the villains have been cast great. Whether or not the villains get enough screen time, whatever. All the casting so far has been great. So I, I'm curious to see why DC picked Jesse Eisenberg over anybody else. Yeah. Yeah, there's got to be something to it, because it just doesn't make there's, sense. There's so, to go to what? your point about the um, Brian Cranston, it would make sense if Brian Cranston and Ben Affleck... It would make too much sense. I'd no, I think, it would, I think it would... And that's that's not a problem. To right. me, it's like, like you said, look at this young, brash, like, they're old school. They're like, even even Lex Luthor would be like, you know, there's certain ways you do things. And you yeah. could have him have the same number of years in, in like, him and Bruce Wayne, the, these guys could have been know, politician could have known each other. For well, so they grew up together, years. so when they get, as they're older, they're both, they're both eyeing Superman yeah. for the same but different reasons. The right. same because they're like, who's this young guy, right. you know, he's just, like, he's yeah. destroying the entire, like, that, Lex Luthor's kind of like, that's well, in most thing. of the comics, yeah. well, I would even be, I'm sorry, just real quick, wait, wait. I would be okay with Ben Affleck or Bruce Wayne, I'm, I'm trying to say Bruce Wayne, knowing what Lex Luthor is up to, if mm-hmm. it was Cranston, yeah. and letting it slide because he supports the economy of an entire city with what he does. Yeah. Right, them almost working together. Right. Because yeah. then you could you could give Lex Luthor his suits that he's always... He, exactly. Because he always well, has, no, I, I mean, he has suits that can go against... Yeah, Superman. that's really all I got now. Well, in most of the comics and the TV shows and stuff, Superman and Lex Luthor are around the same age. You know, well, so it would make sense to have. I know Superman doesn't age as, as quickly as humans, right. but to have him with a, a similar age, Jesse Eisenberg, who's like, maybe he's like the mayor of Metropolis. Right. To see this punk kid telling Superman what to do, yeah, he's gonna piss Superman off. See, I could see that as like a, like a, how you said, like a politician. You yeah, know, yeah. Have like the pol- but as Lex Luthor, I would maybe like how they did with um, James Franco, make it the kid. You know what I mean? Like, okay. Lex Luthor's son. Well, that's, son that's just or, a bad or, character or, to begin with. But I'm just, yeah, but I'm just saying, though, he, because you couldn't, you couldn't recast Willem Dafoe. No, he's, he's perfect just as the goblin. Yeah. Perfect. 
Um, he looked like a goblin. <laughs> but then current, yeah, right, he does. Yeah. Yeah. He does. And then current age James Franco, you're like, oh, he's fucking crazy too. So that yes. makes sense. Um, but the Eisenberg is really hard for me to, because Superman is young. Yeah. And he's still, you know. Still like, a god. Mm. Well, but he's not as, like, you see Jesse Eisenberg and he still looks like a kid. He looks like Michael Sarah's <laughs> big brother. Right. Who, okay, so he looks like an 18-year-old. Yeah, exactly. And you're like, there's still the age. I, I just don't think, I think he's just, they cast too young. It's right. nothing yeah. against uh, Jesse Eisenberg, which I don't think he'll, I just don't like him. So that's probably Well, the there's, there's a lot of rumors that he's not the big baddie in the film anyway. Right. So it's going to be somebody else, but he's going to be like pulling the strings like Luther would do. Yeah. Because Luther can't stand toe-to-toe with Batman or Superman. Yeah, anymore, I think that's so just get waste. somebody else. I think it's a waste of a character. You just got to do Lex Luthor justice. Yeah. And, and make they might. And like you said, like I said, just do. They could team up if they do yeah. some kind of like because you know it's going to be again. Batman's not going to be happy about it. Maybe at all. Superman and Lex Luthor will team up. <laughs> Superman, it's his city. He's trying to trust the Luthor. Way I think they're building the movie. It looks more like you know they're Superman's like a god. Now. Yeah, yeah. It's yes. like if this would happen in today's world, if exactly. somebody appeared like that, people would either worship him or they'd be right, terrified. Him, yeah, him. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Terrified. Yeah, exactly. they're like this guy's uh, uh, something from space or he's a monster. Right. Just something yeah. you don't like. Would Show you, us your true form. No, 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 like, <laughs> no, 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 no like with how you said, you don't, you don't like change. So yeah. if you see somebody that You'd literally freak out. just his punch oh, yeah. at level like a city, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Like it's and not like you brought in. Level, right, almost, it's not like you yeah. brought in like a, a regular superhero. You brought in <laughs> like the super person. Exactly. Right. You know what I mean? Like like Superman is essentially is a god. Yes. I mean you don't you can't beat him. You're like right. he's yeah. just so oh well you can stop him doing this. Well guess what? He'll freeze you. I mean he has freeze breath. Like what the fuck does Superman need that? Well, he do. literally could just throw you into the sun. I'll fly you into it and he'll make him stronger yeah, while yeah. he's doing it. Well, I like the explanation because for a while uh, cause they're, they're, they're introducing Wonder Woman, Batman, Aquaman, Flash, all them people into the superhero universe right after Man of Steel. I'm like, how is that going to happen like like organically? But supposedly the explanation is uh, once man, once Superman landed in Metropolis, all that shit happened, all the other superpower beings like, like uh, Batman and shit and uh, people from the Suicide Squad, they came out of hiding because they realized He's being worshipped by some people. Maybe people will accept me for who I am. Mm. Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty cool way to introduce these guys who oh, have already yeah. been here for years. I have a feeling it's going to work, and it's the opposite of Marvel, but they have made it their point to do everything the opposite. So yeah. Yes, and it's very know, dark You and don't gritty. think they're going to, like, like villainize... I think they're going to kind of make it more of everybody versus... Uh, Superman. Superman. Superman is going to be. Your I, think, I think he's really going to be he's like the he's best. The, he's almost the villain of the best. Yeah, I think he is. I think in the like, movie he's the villain. I definitely think he's the end. And maybe yeah. that's why Eisenberg's there because he's kind of trying to sneak his way in. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. see Aquaman's supposed to be in it. Maybe yeah. he kind of comes out to be like, like how you. The reasons you love Aquaman yes. is because he's he's to himself. You well, know, pretty much a core I definitely got a few spoilers for it, which I probably won't get into on this podcast. But I it explains why certain heroes are in the movie. Mm. and shows them in there and it's, it's not forced I'm like that's cool Yeah. but I definitely think like you said Superman's gonna be the villain Yeah. You know, m- not in everybody's eyes obviously well of course you're gonna have yeah. interpretation yeah, like, Lois Lane is like the one person she's like it's okay baby whatever you want yeah. well, what I'm saying he's is like, Amy Adams so I'd be like okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, there's, there's a cool scene though with, with, uh, with Ma Kent where she's, oh, yeah, like, yeah. she's like you know what you, you know, be whatever they want be, be the best version yeah. of yourself that they think you are or don't. You don't owe them you anything. You don't owe them anything. Yeah. It's true. And he's actually, he kind of looks, kinda. he kind of gives her a look like he's just figuring that out for the yeah. first time, oh. too. So we have her to thank for him going fucking well, crazy. Well, yeah, exactly. Thanks, thanks, thanks Mom. Mom. Yeah. Well, like, Is this because <laughs> they threw a truck for your house? Yeah. <laughs> you're Do whatever the fuck you want. Oh, there's a damn place to pay. Oh, there's a damn place to pay. Oh, you blame fucking everyone. Well, I definitely think what's going to happen is Superman will be the villain for, like, maybe the first half of the movie. Him and Batman will be fighting. I think it goes long. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm saying three quarters. We'll go. We'll do first half just yeah. to even the odds. Okay. Superman's the villain taking on Batman, and then they realize there's a bigger threat, and it's whatever Luther came up with. So they have to team up to take down that. I agree that. That's, I, think, I agree that's how it ends. Yeah. I think that maybe like how we were talking about before, how Luther's kind of pulling the strings. Yes. I think that's going. That's what is kind of gonna bring everybody. That's gonna be a huge factor of why everybody hates Superman. He's probably pulling Batman and Superman strings at the same well, that's time. What I'm saying though, right. and he's gonna. You know, maybe bring in other heroes, just side people, yes. just kind of, that's why, like, he's the side of the world where it's like, um, you know, he's not necessarily scared of Superman, he's just like, people like that shouldn't exist, like, you shouldn't have that much power. Yes, right. And, that, and I think, like, like what you're saying, just change is 
bad to some people. You see a guy like that, and you're like, oh, this is the... Well, I don't remember what comic it was, but it was, uh, it was a very Luther-driven comic, and he was talking about uh, when he was growing up in a Smallville, he was always the best and the brightest, you know, getting straight A's, whatever, and uh, people would always pick on him because he was like a scrawny kid. So he realized when he got older, he would become, like, the mayor of Metropolis, own the city, build Luther Corps, the tallest building in the town, so nobody will ever look down on, look down on him again. Right. He does all that stuff, right? Comes mayor, becomes Lex Corps, tallest building in the town, and then one day Superman just shows yeah, up. It's, it's, it's pretty brutal. When, yeah, you, when, what, you can, when you think of it from his side, he's finally got all this stuff, and then here's the alien that yeah, can fly like, around. Like Luther's looking, looking down on yeah. the entire he's city. Like, he's like, I'm here. Yeah. One day Superman <laughs> comes and just looks down on him, and he's he just snaps. He's like, that's never going to happen to me again. Yeah. So yeah. there's a lot of times you can see Luther. He's not really like... You can see him as a villain, but he definitely has a lot of good points. Yeah, I agree. You know, that's what makes him such a cool so villain. Have, so Cyborg's going to be out of those yeah. ones. Yeah. Well, Cyborg's going to be out of those ones. I'm looking at the cast We're talking right about now. cameos, though. There's a can oh, yeah. cameo. Right, but I mean, that's what's going to bring the... Uh, you we probably, the, uh, you uh, won't like, see Cyborg, but you'll see the guy becoming yeah, Cyborg. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because they yeah. have him on here. Jeremy Irons as Alfred is awesome. Right? But Jeremy Irons is like... Terrifying. You exactly. He's such oh, a yeah, good yeah, yeah. Bad He's always guy. the bad guy. Right, so I'm saying, yeah. like, so one of the first things Alfred. I ever saw him in was the third Die Hard movie, and he was Die Hard of the Vengeance. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He yeah. was the villain, and that's when I was always like, you're a terrible yeah. person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. So anytime I hear Jeremy Irons, I'm like, out. Like, the caregiver? Like, the guy that's he like, was Simon. Yeah. he's just like, hey. Yeah. But he's not, Mike, he's not Michael Caine. He's, he's all not. Yo, let them do what they need, and they'll find the rupees. I think that Michael Caine, though, was... No, 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 I know, and I'm, I'm being an actor. But he, he was more Batman's dad. Yeah, yeah exactly. Seemed like. Iron seems more like Batman's trainer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know? <laughs> Mickey. Yeah. yeah, basically. He's like, you know, you gotta you're blow going the buildings to all the way up. up. And you'll crap thunder. Yes. <laughs> and, um... Or I'll stab you for it, Master Wayne. <laughs> now, Megan, you haven't True. really heard your thoughts on the movie. What do you think about Batman I'm not, Superman? I'm not big on Batman or Superman movies in general, so the, the clash of the two is just okay. going to be disinteresting. But... I, I've got the same feeling about Fantastic Four. I feel like it's going to be like too, they're taking it to a too serious okay. level for me, personally. More serious than Suicide um, Squad? I actually haven't seen any. So you watch the trailer. Like, <laughs> watch the trailer. That's your homework it's tonight. Watch the trailer. Not more, it's not going to be more. No, no, no. no it won't, it's not anywhere near as, as serious as. But you like the the, the light Fantastic stuff. Fantastic Four. So you like the kind of. Yeah, I mean, so I still, I, I like still see so comic books as like a family thing. Like right. I said. Like, yeah. so when something gets so dark and so serious, I'm like, I'm kind of turned off see, to it. I don't. I just didn't learn like really anything from the Fantastic Four trailer. Like, if you just watch the trailer, they don't. Oh, I have really, no idea what's happening. They don't really tell yeah. you anything. Yeah. Like, the and biggest I, part of the trailer, I kind of like that. Is the thing dropping from that plane? Right. right. And cool. other than that, you're like. What's happening? And I kind of like that. But it's on the other side of the portal. And yeah, I, the trailer really purpose. shows you nothing, which yeah, I, I, don't I tell like. You anything about I like the story. that. That is that is refreshing. To see I don't like trailers trailer showing me everything. Yeah, but it doesn't you know. show you. To me, it doesn't show you enough. Like you're just like, yeah. what am I gonna get out of, other than seeing you know the thing drop from that plane? Like, what are you getting from? Like, I, I you're right. In the trailer, yes. they. They tend to show a lot of stuff. Like a lot of stuff, stuff that gives away. Or they show stuff that never actually happens it's in the like movie. The yeah. Amazing Spider -Man. Like crazy. the Amazing Spider-Man trailers. Right. But, um, oh, those, yeah. Um, yeah. But, uh, Too many of them. <laughs> but I just, I, I don't think they tell you enough to where you could be like, that could be, other than it being Fantastic Four, they yeah. don't tell you anything to where you're, if for a non-superhero fan, mm -hmm. to kind of bring you to the theater. You know what I mean? Other than just the fact that it's popular yeah. now to go um, to those. Yes. One thing I will say about this this movie and DC movies in general. Batman Superman talking about? Yeah, Batman Superman, okay. I'm sorry. Um, and, and, and DC movies in general is that as opposed to Marvel, I can appreciate the fact that they are trying to make a darker movie. Very. Yep. Um, Marvel movies, uh, great. Very, uh, very lighthearted. They are. As a, as a general rule, it's very easy to see the, the heroes coming out on top. Yes. You know, there's, there's no tension. There's not. No, we don't With have With the DC, uh, it yeah, feels like it's more of a, a struggle for the heroes. You know, right. it feels like it's can more of a... Still Definitely um, seems more grounded. Yeah, I mean, it's just grounded. I mean, it's it's grounded. It's dark, and I love that. And uh, I think I, and we're not going to get into it today, but again, maybe another time I'll get to rant about uh, my Avengers issues. Oh yes. Oh, but, yeah, oh that's yeah, next yeah. time for sure. Next time. Yes. 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 But uh, but again, I, I'm glad that the movie's going dark. I like where the movie's going um, as far as the the Superman and, and Batman dynamic and the the issues that obviously are there. Now, obviously, Luther's right. going to be involved. Yes. Uh, One woman will be there. But yeah. that, and the, yeah, to your point, that's what I like about DC. I've never been a huge DC fan, but to go back to her. I said before, 
it's still wrapped in reality yeah. somewhat. Yeah, yeah for the most like, part. Well, yeah. I mean, saying though, like, yeah. go back to the Superman thing. If something like that, I like that. Oh, you, oh he shows up like Thor shows up, and everybody's just kind of like, oh, okay, whatever. That's cool. He's yeah, just yeah. flying from his yeah, that's that great. hammer that he's flying in the sky. Whatever, yeah. no big deal. But, no, but I mean, Superman shows up in like. People a lot freak of people out. Are not okay yeah. with it. Yeah. And Batman too, man. When you see what he has to deal with and got in Metropolis, yeah, you get it. And this is a guy, yeah. and what I know about his character, which kind of lines up with what they've done with the older character in general. He's he's been doing this for so long. He feels like he didn't do anything with his life because nothing is any better. And there's even a line in the, in the trailer that kind of drives that home. He's talking to Alfred. He goes, "How many good guys are left? That's true. Yeah. How many stayed that way? Yeah. So yeah. he's basically just he's not bitter. He's just he's given up. He's, he's tired of it. He's all. like tired of it. He yeah. feels like he devoted his life to something that didn't matter. Awesome. And yeah. just when he's at like this rock bottom place where he feels like he can't do anything to help people anymore, here comes this alien financial like, oh, destroying dang. buildings in a major city. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, and Batman's like, oh okay, well. I'm not gonna die yet because I gotta take care of this jerk. Yeah, <laughs> right. Like, and that's he's, he's his Danny Glover. He's like, I'm too old for this. Pretty shit. much. Yeah. And you know what? It's really great, especially and the amount of time he's been Batman is really strong for me, mm. especially since in the Nolan movies. And I know that he was a rookie starting. He was a rookie finishing. He never yeah, exactly. he did it for like 18 months at the longest. Well, and I know yeah, because he, he went hiding for like eight years. Like okay, he, Dark Knight happened like a year after Begins. Yes. Begins happened over the course of like three or four months. So we're talking about a, a bat career of about 18 um, months. A, a, 18 back. months. A yeah. year, yeah. a year and a half, and then he quit. <laughs> and then he came hiring. back for a couple of weeks, and then he really quit forever. Yes. Now, and I know that a lot of people hearing us like, oh, Nolan, I know it. The movies were beautiful, and yeah. I really enjoyed Great them. movies. But as far as a Batman that has been doing this for the amount of time that he has, that was not there for me. So yeah. being able to see Ben Affleck like, you know, as Bruce Wayne. I'm that. still concerned about that. Like, I don't know that he's going to be able to... Oh, he's got it. Totally yeah, but yeah, he's got I don't... It. I don't I, I'm with you on that he's one. Got I just don't... I can't I don't, see it. Not 100, yet, anyway. 100% on board. I can't, and, and, and I don't want to hear the... Watch, like with the, watch Jared the Leto 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 Leto. Leto. I, I don't want to hear the okay. Heath Ledger argument, because it just doesn't, it doesn't happen. <laughs> I'm not going to make... Heath Ledger, you could say, oh, yes, well, nobody expected him to be good. It's all hindsight. But it's... He was like a one in a billion kind oh, of thing. Oh, I agree. You know what I mean? Just because Heath Ledger mm. did it well doesn't mean anytime somebody else comes out. Like, I'm not going to make that argument. I'm going to make the argument, go watch The Town, which is one of the greatest high school oh, movies of all time. Oh, The Town is amazing. This Ben Affleck's comeback movie after the atrocity of Geely. Yeah. Right. He did uh, that. The Reindeer Games was great. But that was before Geely. <laughs> yeah. He did the, I, I he, love Reindeer He did The Games. Town, and then he did Argo. He directed Gone, Gone Baby yeah, Gone, but he wasn't it. I know, but just because he's made good movies Watch the town. doesn't mean that he's going to be a good superhero. No, but he's. I I, I, this is I my just, counterpoint for that. He's made good movies, and he's given, arguably, like the most interesting, really got to try hard to screw it up, and Joel Schumacher proved it. Yeah. yeah. Like, you got to try to make it bad. Yeah. Even, even, like, Batman Returns, if you ignore anything resembling, like, things that are supposed to make sense in that movie and ignore the plot yeah, right. and look at the characterization of Batman like the first scene where he's just sitting in his chair waiting for right. something bad to happen mm -hmm. and that's yeah. all he that's apparently him. that's what he does and I'm just sitting in that chair this is my chair this is my thinking chair I think the only saving grace to me because I'm with her on the Ben Affleck thing is the um, aged Batman Okay. Like, I, I like that. Yeah. I like that because I didn't know that until recently that that's, what the, that's the angle they were going with right. I just thought here we go. It's Other like, oh, it's like George Clooney. Cool, great. This is going to be terrible. Because I, I still have huge res reservations about that movie. Right. The more I see, the the more I'm into it. But I'm really on Marvel's side, just yeah. in general. So DC, I'm not. Um, well, what, but him being around, he's like... It's like 20 years. It's like 20 years. He's, like, he's like 50 so years. He, so, so he's established, yeah. you know... Uh, I, I like that. I like that. Because I think that will present more of a challenge for him to to be up against Superman because mm -hmm. it's not even the fact that he's a younger guy and it's it's super yeah right. um but I like that he's already he's already seen stuff like that you know what I mean like yeah. you haven't know, yeah. in the world seen Superman but he he knows about the CD underbelly if they're doing exactly. if they're doing with Suicide Squad they're they already exist yeah he's already dealt with all he's of dealt with right. yeah, do you have any more of these that is all we have okay I can get so I That's I, I, I just no, you Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna say something ridiculous. For me, it sounds completely silly, but what, what makes a good Batman for me starts with what, how well you can do the Batman voice. Like how well you can get deep and not sound ridiculous. Right. Like, well, let, let me, let me drop 
one more point before we move on to the next movie. Like, before we drop on, before we talk Civil War. Next Marvel movie coming out. The last thing for Batman is I heard that they're going to focus a lot more on his detective skills. But they, they've never done a Batman movie. And that's what, that's right. what made Arkham Asylum and Arkham City such good The detective good things. Because he is a detective. And the solo Batman movie that's coming out in 2019, Batman, uh, Ben Affleck is directing it, and he's co-writing it with Jeff Johns. And Terrio's back, too. And Terrio, who co-wrote Argo. Argo. And Batman and Superman. And Batman Superman. Superman. Right. See, I just, so. I, I'm, until I see him physically, I see I know. the movie yeah. with Ben Affleck, I just, I just... I, I just don't like see it. You know what I mean? Well, we, like, we have like less than a year. Yeah. Right. We have until next March. Yeah. That was yeah. Cool. So, true. do we want to save the round table thing? Well, we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit that, but I want to. Okay. What is? What was the? Uh, uh, I just want to know um, what your opinions are with the uh, the abundance of movies that are coming. Superhero out. movies. In I, uh, do you think that it's oversaturation? Here's the thing: it's a very fine line because we're getting to the point now where we're getting one every month. Pretty much, yeah. Which is, which, is, which is exciting to a certain point. Right, right. But if they don't start, and uh, this is the concern again that we'll touch on next week with Marvel especially, if they don't start deviating from a very similar mold, mm-hmm. they will get bland. Oh, yes, right. we're, yeah. We're getting dangerously close to that right now. Again, uh, I can't talk on it now because I don't want to eat up tons of time, but the Avengers movie for me really did that. It got to where it was complacent. It was, uh, it was, we, we we're just doing this because we can. Yeah. Too much like the first one. Well, it wasn't even that. It was just, there was no it was effort into it. similar from all Because, I mean, they were definitely movies. different movies. I understand yeah. that. But I didn't feel like they put any effort into it whatsoever. Yeah. It was pretty much, it was we up. are the Avengers. Yeah. Watch our movie. Yeah. And that's yeah. kind of what I felt like. So, I mean, uh, yeah. And it, it worked. It did. It did. And people will pay for it. They still pay for it. But you got to remember, a lot of issues that we had back in the 90s and stuff like that with, let's just go with action films, is that action films tended to become the same three plots <laughs> oh, right, between right. all these movies. And there was yeah. hundreds of oh, movies. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially from the, in, the, in the 80s, you know, it was all like your Rambos, just yeah. kind of just your vigilantes. Your die hard. In the 90s, it kind of, but it was like it had its like 90s spin on it. Where it was like yeah. edgy. Yeah. 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 How edgy can you get where somebody's getting kidnapped, Here's somebody's family got yeah. killed. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. you think about it. And true action movies for a while there had died. Oh, yeah. I mean, they had kind of just fallen off the map. Yeah. Because I believe it was oversaturated. So when we get a good action right. movie now, we appreciate exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. You get a real, a true action movie, not this right. bullshit where they're just blowing stuff up oh, every right. five right. seconds. But and a true then, action movie. I think movie. that's what also killed it, too. The first take of that second, just, too. And, and, I, and I just <laughs> have to keep, keep reiterating yeah. it. Yeah. It's because people wanted things that are more realistic. Yeah, true. So, like, when your Rambos and stuff come out now, like when they remake them, yeah. people are like, this is shit. Yeah. Because that's... That could not legitimately happen. It is, right? un- you it know, is like less you, believable. Right. And yes. I, I know you see the Avengers. You don't go into the Avengers thinking, oh, my God. Oh, he's so stupid. He <laughs> couldn't shoot lightning. And <laughs> out of his <laughs> ass. I know. Hard that, guy, that guy's so Great bad. Great heart at punch, folks. Oh, right. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. But to, to the bubble point. Yeah. Um, it's going to burst it's probably gonna, by 2020, I'd I say. I think yeah. it'll probably be before that. And, uh, my thing, I, real quick before we get to what we want to see and yeah. talk about everything I don't believe that is a inevitable fact. I believe that if they j- genuinely look at their writing and they go back, because again, I'm not complaining about what we're getting right now, well, but yeah, I can yeah. see a trend that I don't like. Right. So if they go back to Iron Man, if they go back to uh, Captain America, if they go back to these original first couple movies. Well, for the most part, Marvel's done good making different. Yeah. Like Guardians was a, a, a Western space. Yeah. Winter Soldier was a political thriller. Yeah. The two Avengers are similar yeah. tones. Yeah. You know, if they just keep making them very different. That's what I'm saying. They just got. They have to make sure that they're not falling into a mold. And like you said, the Avengers movies. What scares me is because those two were similar. very similar. Hopefully, Civil War is not. Yeah. Well, well, and Civil War is a Captain America. Captain America. Movie. Maybe it'll be more but political. I think that if they. I do think the bubble will burst. Yes. I think that nerd culture as a whole is just like everything else that's come and gone. It's a fan. You it's never a fan. thought it would disappear. Yeah, in the right. next few years, it's not going to be cool to yes. wear black room glasses and hold Nintendo controllers. Something else will take over. You will not talk badly about oh my glasses. I'm just saying, black room glasses and holding Nintendo controller, I'm such a nerd. No, you're fucking Put it on not. Instagram. No, you're not. You bought a uniform. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're all Harley Quinn. Look the fucking do so you like you and everybody else. I mean, there's um, always going to be true nerds. I don't think that it, unless they are really story driven and I think that's yeah. DC is going to start to beat Marvel mm-hmm. because like we talked about yeah. like just talking about the Joker as yes. Heath Ledger you're it was just so like 
fucked up. There yes, was yes, death. Yes. There right. was, there was but, like, but, what's going on but, here? Like, I want to know Avengers, more. I agree. You know, it's cool to see action movies. Oh, yeah. But they get bored these are just pretty while. much becoming superhero action movies. Where, yeah, okay, cool, you punch that guy through a building. Oh, you, you, yeah. you fought all these alien monsters, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah. Guardians worked because it was really funny. Yes. It was. It, it didn't even have to be a superhero movie, yeah. and it was still a really good movie. But the action in it was fantastic. That's, that's, that's why my favorite Marvel movie to this day is still The Winter Soldier. Because it wasn't really a superhero. It was a political thriller first. Like, it was anything you could see in the 90s. Like, Harrison Ford, like, clear present danger. Yeah. Air Force One. That's a big one. Uh, uh, big, 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 big reach. I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong, but it's a big yeah, but it's, it's timeless. Timeless. Like, timeless. You, you, you can, if, you, if you take out Captain America, put in, like, a classic, like, action hero, mm -hmm. same plot, basically... It's just a straight up political thriller with some superhero moments. Uh, it actually point. has storylines exactly. where people are punching each other. Right? Yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't, like it being such a political thriller, I can't I can't agree with. It's just, it, Hydra was, infiltrated the, shield. Which, Spoiler which, for the Winter Soldier. Yeah, you've never seen 20 it. Twenty years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Watch it. Yeah. 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 I was the last person on earth to see it. Ever. I never saw it. So yeah. I saw it yesterday. Like I saw that and then I saw Guardians like Right? I know it really came in, I was like, I just saw Winter Soldier and the next day I watched Guardians. So everybody's looking at me like you're fucking retarded. And yes, yes <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. But I don't. It's so good. Um, I don't. If you keep making movies like Guardians, mm -hmm. they will be good. Don't keep making the Guardians. Home. Yeah. Right. No, no, don't right, keep right. making. We're gonna this 150 times, baby. I think that's what's gonna happen. because nobody expected. And that, like I said before, you're a liar if you did. Yeah, Guardians absolutely. to do anything. No, no, so no, when no, it no. became, yeah. it, it, it's one of the best superhero movies. Movie. I mean, it's a fantastic, as a whole, yes. it's a fantastic I, movie. I, I but you do yes. three more Guardians, and it's going to be shit. Well, well, the tones are different, that's fine. It's going to be shit. Like, no, like, like Black Panther gives a fuck about the But Black that's Panther the beauty movie. of it, is because yeah. nobody gives a fuck about it. So you can do whatever you Pretty want yeah, yeah. and you, make a movie that people will enjoy. Guardians the same way. I don't I don't think so. See, that's like goes back to the Heath Ledger thing. Just because it happened to work for like uh, for Guardians, mm -hmm. like with Ant-Man, you can kind of do the same thing, because who gives a shit about Ant-Man? It's true. But none of us really care to see but it. Because well, you can, the I source material can I didn't care, care to see Guardians. I didn't care to see Guardians. But that's what I'm did. saying, you can't, you can't compare the two. It's like to the Heath Ledger thing. Right. Nobody in their right mind, when I heard Heath Ledger, I was like, this is going to be terrible. Didn't life. he just come off of a, a Knight's Tale or whatever it was? Wasn't it like... It was a very recent Tale. It's a great movie. It's a lot. Of that movie. The best quote from that movie. Oh, anyway. so long, and I'm going to add that. He did 10 video. things I hate about you guys. Oh, yeah, that, that was good. I enjoyed like, that. Jesus Christ. You can <laughs> like that movie, but I can't like a nice No, you cannot. Uh, garbage. They were doing <laughs> tween music in the stands oh, the while they're right. jousting. Dangerous. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that is cool. Megan, what do you think of a nice tale? Now we owe Queen, now we owe queen money. It. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, now we owe Queen money. Freddie Mercury is rolling over the train right now. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so let's touch on what everybody wants because we do have to kind of wrap up at some point. We're all going to want some time. So I mean, uh, let's start at the top of the table. And, uh, okay. okay. Um, so we're going to do what have we been what have you been reading, watching recently. Okay. What do you uh, recommend to the one person that's listening to us? Yeah. Uh, that the Batman, a uh, court and Night of Cows. Excuse me? Owls. <laughs> this is awesome. But that is, that is cow, that would be cow, amazing. Right. Um, it's it's really good. It's I'm, Like I said, I'm not a DC guy. But uh, Troy recommended it to me, which he's been recommending a lot of good stuff, which pains me to say. Psych yeah. Criminals. Uh, right, yeah, Psych I actually enjoyed it, which that's another one I'd recommend, and I hate that. That's my guilty pleasure one. <laughs> I'll get my one guilty pleasure. It's sex criminals. We all have that. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the plot, because you'll, you'll hate it when I tell you. But you still read it. Yes. Um... <laughs> The Batman one is because it's, like, dark. Even for Batman, right. when, I think it's, like, issue four or something, when he starts to lose his mind, they put him in that maze. Yeah. He, he like, legitimately goes fucking crazy. Like, he's talking to, there's nobody there, he's screaming at him. I don't know how long the time period that he's locked in there, but it, it, the way it's written, it almost seems like it's instant, but the way... He portrays it as he's been locked in there for, yeah. it seems like forever. Sanity. Insanity. Yeah, 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 So he's yeah. going crazy. Um, I like the villain. I never thought I would. The whole owl mask right? thing. Yeah. I, I mean, so owl's creepy. Stupid. But he's, he's like indestructible. The backstory for the owls is cool. I love how they they talk about how the owls hunt bats and they, yeah. they add that into the thing. So they've yeah. been doing this the for generations. I and mean, you're trying to find out, like, yeah. um, 
I think the guy turns out. I'm hot. Spoilers. Um, one of them has to do with it's um, uh, Nightwing. His grandfather mm -hmm. is one of the owls. Oh, nice. Which is like a long lost. Like, I'm actually not. Yeah, a it's, I saw. it's awesome. Yeah. He finds out to be part of that. They're like they're Illuminati or yeah, that, yeah. That's that cool. group. Great. He he ends up being part because it in the end of the first one, end of the first issue again. Spoiler. Um, they you ever read it by now? Read it. They make you think years. that Nightwing is the bad guy. Yeah. Because they find this corpse and he's covered in all these blades and uh, he's got skin under his fingernails. And, thank you, CSI. And they, um, <laughs> that was never a thing. People weren't that smart. No. Um, and it's and it's Nightwing. So you're like, oh, okay, something's going to happen. But What's then you? they, the only shitty part is he's just kind of like, was it you? No, it wasn't me, man. I saw him like a different day. He grabbed my arm. Okay, Batman just kind of drops <laughs> I believe you <laughs> completely. <laughs> he just drops it. That's the other part. I'm like, okay, you would not lie so to good. me, Mr. Yeah. Grayson. Um, another one. <laughs> it's a uh, it's an it's image okay. comic. <laughs> it's <good>. called <laughs> Witches with a Y. So good. It's six issues so far. So scary. It's terrifying. Okay. Like the witches, you it, they're not even close to anything you could imagine with the witch. They're like almost. They live in the woods. They live kind of inside trees, like in these huge burrows. They're like eight feet tall. They're just these hulking monsters. And uh, it's so good because the, the author, at the end of the first issue, he tells you what his inspiration was to write it. And usually I kind of don't care. Okay, what if you're like, what, how did you think of this? Whatever. But it's so creepy. Visually, the, the art style is fantastic. It's like brutal. And there's all, it, it almost looks like the pages are stained sometimes. You just throw all these weird colors on it. Yeah, stained. It's sex Stay in the blood. Uh, <laughs> blood guys. Yeah. Sex criminals. Yeah. Um, uh. but, but when he tells a story about him being with his friend and they go to the woods and he actually, they're hanging out and his buddy like grabs a bat or something he has with him and he yells, who are you? And then they turn around and he doesn't see anything and then he explains that he leaves and he comes back 20 years later because his parents still own the cabin. And this is all true. To him, it's a true story. I mean, I, I can't say it is because... But it's, it's not a part of the comic. It's him telling you where he got the inspiration. And he goes back to the woods, and he sees the face right at the same spot that the witch was before. And he, the way he explains it, it's like how it's just been sitting there. He felt like it's been sitting there for 20 years just waiting for him in that exact same spot to show up. Um, and the story, I think the main character's name is Charlie. It's like a 16-year-old girl or yeah. something like that. Um, where, she, you know, it's... You think she's going insane and nobody really believes her. They think that she killed this other girl because she was bullied. And then you find out she didn't. And then um, it's all about pledging. You pledge people, essentially. I pledge you. And then when I do that, it's pretty much you're like my sacrifice to get whatever I want. That's when the witches will come and take you. And, and it's just disgusting. Like they show where they live and it's just stacks of bodies that are all mutilated. It's very and graphic. It's great. So anytime somebody says they're going to pledge you, you should be prepared to die. And where I live, it's all wooded. It's the middle of nowhere. It's uh, fucking terrible. Perfect spot. I live it. in the. I live in Evanston. It's a road. Okay, my neighbors are next to us, like, like a quarter of a mile away. It's that's it. Mm -hmm. um, so reading that in the middle of the night and thinking about it, I was like, I had a very hard sleep that night, and I've never been really freaked out by a comic. Yeah. Even reading, sometimes you're like, oh, this is kind of spooky because I love Stephen King. So his yeah. is more of like a mind fuck. Yeah. Visually, though, you see that thing, and you're like, you're oh, okay, if I saw it in real life, I would shit my pants. And what's cool is Instantly. both The Court of Owls and Witchers are both written by Scott Snyder. Right, and they're Same fantastic. Guy, right? It's so Who somehow cool. knows Kevin Bacon via the laws of Kevin Bacon. Yeah, 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 yeah the, okay, what cool. is it, like the Six, six Degrees of Bacon? <laughs> Kevin Bacon, yeah. Yeah, Six Degrees of Bacon. Right? Yeah. Um, and then uh, I started watching Strain, but I'm not going to go on too much longer. Strain's fantastic. Read it, watch it, it's awesome. We'll come back to that next week. Fucking creepy. Yeah, yeah. fucking creepy. All right, so that puts it on David. All right, uh, only one. Got it right here, Vibranium. Oh, good, this, good. this book, had, I saw it once when I was a kid in a Toys R Us, and uh, I couldn't get it because it looked like it was not okay at the time. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the explanation Is I got. Sex Criminals? Uh, no, it was, it, was, it was a Batman book, and I was bewildered as to why it wasn't okay, but I did get to flip through it. Um, and this book has been my white whale. Because I refuse to go buy it on eBay. I refuse to buy it on eBay, but anytime I go to an antiques place that has comics or if I'm in a perusing some other comic shop for 
One time only. <laughs> we'll have one if, I'm, if I'm out of town, wow. you know, I'll, I'll do that. But I, I always look at this book. It's Batman, Dracula, Red Rain. And it's basically, uh, if you've seen 30 Days a Night, when a bunch of vampires show up on the, uh, on the, on the ship, and they're just there, that happens in Gotham City. Um, and the condensed version is Batman ends up getting turned into a vampire. Um, so if you can imagine Batman is, is darkness level, and then also becoming undead and <laughs> thirsting for Shit. blood, uh, and basically he's he, he's got to deal with the fact that he he has to drink blood, and he decides whether or not he wants to just drink the blood of criminals instead of taking them to jail, and that's a big conflict. Oh, so <laughs> it's a really that, that is awesome. if, if you can find it, drink. if yes. you can find it, then there will be blood. And it, it, you know, it took me 20 years, but I found it. Yes. Um, so if you can find it, read it. But is it like a like he? Like drains them, or he still keeps. No, he still he, have his Batman where he wants them to live. <laughs> if he drain, if he sucks no, blood. No, like I guess in this version, um, and they're borrowing heavily from the movie version. Even Warner Brothers had like a, a seal on the book because it's an Elseworlds. Mm -hmm. um, you you have that whole thing happen where your soul dies and withers away the more you turn. Oh, so okay. he's kind of just losing his humanity. Okay, and, but One still, bite at a time. still wants to do the best he can under the circumstances, but doesn't really care a whole lot about human life anymore. I have to check it out. Man. Yeah. Thanks, Barry. Okay. Like me. Yeah. <laughs> right? You're a sucker. <laughs> so you what? You're turning. Yeah. You, yeah. you, you already turned. You have turned. Well, you're, you're already a ginger. Yeah. Oh, God. Dick. Yeah. You're you a ginger, so it's fine now. Yes. 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 You're already so a beer ginger. Oh, and yes. they don't, they, this might be what happened to you, because they don't have to bite you in this book. They just have to scratch <laughs> you. This might have happened. If you were scratched, if somebody absolutely just scratched you by accident, that's done. You're done. Yeah, but with your face, like you said that with almost so much sincerity. Like, I don't know if this actually happened to you, man. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but it could. Yeah, like, if this is what it would happen to you. If right? you're feeling these things. Yeah. All right. But, uh, but yeah, that's mine. All right. All right so I have two. I have a comic and a movie I've, I've watched recently. The comic is uh, Justice League 41. It's the kickstart of the Dark Side War. Mm -hmm. The only thing about Dark Side, he's like DC Thanos, but he's a god. He's more powerful than that, right? Dark Side is waging a war with the Anti Monitor on Earth, and he gets involved with the Justice League. So Justice League go to stop him, but uh, it turns out Dark Side has a daughter. A half Amazon daughter named Grail, right? First episode, first issue she comes in, she just wipes out the Justice League. Mm. Just destroys them all, right? And it's it's an overstuffed issue. It's like six bucks, but it shows all the Justice League, like, solving a crime scene together. It has, like, Batman, the Flash, Cyborg and Shazam, and just chilling out, whatever. Trying to solve this crime scene, what happened? And all of a sudden, Grail comes down, and she starts wiping the floor with them. And as we're seeing this, we get flash, not really flashbacks, a different location, we see Mr. Miracle, who hasn't been used since, like, the 90s. Yeah, that's what I'm He's about. surviving Apocalypse, where Darkseid's reign of terror is. He survives that, hops in his, like, his Mr. Miracle box, transports to Earth to meet up with the Justice League to try and finally save them, right? And I haven't read issue 42 yet, which is the next one. It came out today. Mm -hmm. But apparently, Batman might become a god. Like a new god to help defeat Grail. That's what he needs to be a, a vampire slash god. Oh, oh right. yeah. <laughs> Combine yeah. these Batman. The god fire. So the god bad, bad god fire. Right? right. So it's, it's it's real. It's written by <laughs> Jeff Johns, who just writes anything fantastic. The art's Jason Fabok, who's art's beautiful. Flipping through it, you don't even have to read anything, but you will get just about everything that's going on just by looking at the panels. Good art. You know. So I'm so excited for issue 42. I can't wait to read it later. And then the, the movie I watched on, uh, last night on Netflix is called The Den, which I was talking to Mike about a little bit earlier. Yeah. Yeah. It's about uh, the seedy underbelly of the internet. Like if 4chan met chat roulette, right? Oh, I know. Sounds so <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. it's all it. 4chan. Yeah. Just fucking terrible. If you don't know what 4chan is, look it up. Don't look it up for one. Do it. Watch The Den instead. Do it. Basically, The Den is uh, the whole movie shot from this girl's uh, like Skype app, which is called The Den. It's either shot from her laptop or computer, whatever she's at. Because she has to film... The den's logged on for 24 hours. Because she's trying to do, like, a, a sociological experiment on people. Like, uh, everybody, everybody you see on the internet, you know, whether you have, like, good people, you have bronies, you have serial killers, whatever you're going to see on the internet, you're going to see on, like, chat roulette. Bronies are the, the den. Well, yeah. So she does that, and, like, three quarters in a movie, it's creepy. It's eerie, because you're seeing it from, like, a computer screen. That's all you're seeing it from. It's, it's creepy, it's eerie, I don't really know what's going to happen next. But the ending of the movie made me never want to go to the internet again. The, ending, the ending, 
Oh, shit. The ending of the movie just made that so real that it could happen to anybody. Yeah. I was like, no, no. I, no, no. Never going on chat roulette or 4chan or Skype or any of that bullshit again. Because the way they end it, it's like, like, it could be happening in your, in your town. Your neighbor could be a part of this. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go watch Monsters, Inc. instead. <laughs> <laughs> That's not frightening in its own way. Yeah, it's oh, that, that. Monsters come through closets now? Yeah. Shit! Oh, fuck that. It's definitely my record. Watch The Dead on Netflix. Pick up Justice League issue 41 and 42. You're gonna love them. Oh. Uh, Monsters, Inc. And, 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 and watch Monsters, Inc. Well, yeah, Thank watch you, Disney. Uh, Pixar. Pixar. Yeah, say, Pixar. Yeah. My bad. My fault. Yeah, that's shows you what I know. All right, so uh, I can't believe this one's going to make it to me because I thought for sure somebody was going to take this from me, and that's uh, one of the best. Now, mind you, uh, just a real quick backstory on me. I know. Quick backstory on me is uh, I'm not necessarily a big, avid reader of comics uh, growing up. I love the art, love the characters, but didn't necessarily read stories. Um, so, obviously, when I'm in the shop now, I try to pick up something new every now so often, and, and stuff is recommended to me, so I picked this up. And uh, one of my favorite characters growing up uh, was Wolverine. Uh, and and it's, uh, I think it was most kids, honestly. I think everybody loved Wolverine for whatever reason, some reason or another. It was it just cool? The claws that popped out, he looked badass. He's Canadian. Or, or he's Canadian, and then, you know, the French Canadians in the world are like, oh, thank God, we're finally yeah. represented. <laughs> but, um, a little boot. Boot. Yeah. Um, but Old Man Logan. Uh, the just, new one or the old Old Man Logan? Well, we're going to start with the trade, and okay. I'll, I'll briefly graze over the new stuff. But the trade, uh, well, trade for me, obviously, was issues previously. But the uh, the story of Old Man Logan, I, I have to admit, I laughed at when I first heard about it. I was like, you got to be kidding me. Old, you know, Logan just got old. <laughs> Whatever. Um, but if you kind of go into it, and, I, and anybody knows anything about me, I love post-apocalyptic type stuff. Um, Big Walking Dead fan, a lot of other things that kind of touch on that sort of uh, genre. Um, you're in a post-apocalyptic world with Wolverine. Basically, he's off uh, in California mm -hmm. um, and just kind of doing his thing with his family. So, you know, Wolverine's just, you know, chilling. And you don't know he's Wolverine. He's literally just a dude in a trench coat. He's a farmer. Yeah, he's just a farmer. Shaved his hair pretty much. He's just gray and just chilling. And uh, he's just kind of hanging out with his family, and, uh, and he has to deal with the uh, the, uh, the, issue, the issue, and this is the Hulks, or the Barons, I guess, essentially, over the uh, over the California region. Uh, kind of a little bit, not necessarily tea or ruining anything, but the whole thing is that there's basically no superheroes now. Uh, mm -hmm. They're all dead. For one reason or another. For one reason dead. or another, yeah, they're all dead. Well, they probably all, a lot of them probably aged out. Yeah, I mean, there's, they're yeah. just gone. Uh, there's, there's not really much left. There's a pretty graphic scene that shows yeah, why a lot of them and I'll definitely get to that. Um, but, you know, basically, you know, the superheroes are gone. There is no superheroes, and that's kind of the complaint of this this town. And the Hulks are just raised in hell and everything like that. And, uh, uh, without getting too much into that, because I don't want to ruin big parts of the story or whatever. But, uh, you know, he ends up teaming up with Hawkeye and going travel across country. And I kind of see the whole things with that. But uh, it's great read. Um, there's definitely parts throughout the book where, you know, it's not at, like one point where you're like, oh, my God, and then there's nothing else. Mm -hmm. The entire book, uh, and again, I say books, I read it as a trade. The entire way through is just spot after spot after spot after spot after spot. Like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, yeah. oh my God, oh, my yeah, God. Right. You know, in the middle of the book, and I think it's literally in the middle, like if the book folds in half, you know, there's a, you know, you get this epic part where Wolverine is dealing with this, uh, why he is not a superhero any longer, mm -hmm. essentially. Uh, they refer to it as popping his claws, which is a cool little way yeah. to put it. And, uh, and they refer to why he doesn't do that anymore. And it's, when you awesome. read it, yeah. Um, yeah. not knowing it's coming, and I'm not going to ruin it for you, but not knowing it's coming, it is just graphic, mm -hmm. and it is oh, insane, yeah. and you're yeah. like, no doubt you're never doing that again. So yeah. much blood in that scene. You know, I mean, it was, it was incredible, and it's a great read. I definitely recommend it. Um, and then real quickly um, on the Secret Wars aspect of that, you know, uh, Secret Wars, obviously, big thing. Uh, I'm not going to plug Secret Wars too much, but it is a direct continuation uh, of the of the uh, the original storyline, um, obviously tied into Secret Wars as well. But it, it, it's almost seamless. It really, was right off. I mean, it really was like it just it's like, oh, I flipped this page and here's another one. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's really how it felt. Um, so great read there as well. Mm -hmm. And then one other quick thing, and I'm not going to take as much time on this one because I'm going to just summarize it really quick, is 1602. Uh, Marvel, you like 1602? I love 1602. Marvel 1602 for me was uh, was a great... Uh, oh, the old 1602. Yeah, the original. The, the, okay. the original. The, the, I'm sorry. I apologize. The original Neil Gaiman. Okay. Because uh, the, the Secret Wars, not so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but um, <laughs> the original uh, Neil Gaiman uh, 1602 was just a phenomenal look at superheroes in a different time period mm -hmm. and how they would be portrayed and how they would be received. You know, we kind of talk about what would happen if Superman showed up. Right. And everybody would be like, oh, my God. It's kind of the same thing. They treat them as witches. They're hunting them in some cases. And it's kind of all that stuff. And it's very it's very much written like it would be spoken in, in, in that time frame in England. 
Um, so it's a great read. There's other tie-ins as well. Admittedly, I've not read those in their entirety, so I don't know how to recommend those. But 1602, also a great read, and pretty much anything that has his name on it, really. Uh, but yeah. those are the two that I can definitely recommend. I uh, definitely want to see him. You can tell him a Marvel boy. Um, that's it for me. That's great. Looks like you're up, Megan. Right. Uh, something simple that I just started reading with the, all the Secret Wars titles coming out is uh, The Amazing Spider-Man, Renew Your Vows. Yeah. That was really, really good. Right. And it, I, only read, I only got to read the first issue so far. But, I mean, um, I mean the, the beginning is really intriguing. Like, all these superheroes are disappearing and shit like that. And Spider-Man doesn't know what the hell's happening. But, you know, now he's got a family to worry about. He can't be worrying about, you know, what's going on with the city and all that stuff. He's got to make them his main priority. And, um, you know, it really, it was a flashback in the beginning, and it just, um, towards the end of the first issue, you know, you kind of see that Spider-Man is implying that he's not really doing the superhero thing anymore, and we don't know why, and I'm really excited to, to read the next one for that. Uh, and then from the DC world, um, I really like anything with, uh, I really like anything with archery in it, so the <laughs> Red, Hood, Red Hood Arsenal was, was actually, good? yeah, it was actually a really good read. I still gotta read the second one of that, too, but, okay. I mean, it was really good. It was, um, it was very lighthearted and playful, kind of like the Green Arrow, every Green Arrow series, yeah, yeah. but, all I mean, nine of them. yeah, that's true. So, yeah, I mean, that's all I got going on now. What <laughs> going on? <laughs> So next okay. week, next week we have uh, X Men Apocalypse talk about mm -hmm. uh, Civil Marvel Civil War. Civil War. Any complaints we have? Any any uh, Marvel or DC movies that I've been made? I've my Avengers rant. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll be talking about that. Talking about the future of DC Comics and the all new, all different Marvel that's coming out after Secret Wars. Absolutely. Yeah, and then we can talk about the um, briefly because it's uh, no listen to us. The uh, those image comics. Yes. A lot of great indie comics coming out from Dark Horse, IDW, Image. Yes. Yeah. Uh, hit and base with them some, somewhat. But it's like October through December they have like October 12? through uh, November. Vertigo will be releasing one new comic a week. And some of them sound fantastic. So we'll be talking about some of them. Hopefully get your hopes up like ours are. <laughs> yeah. Well, just the video. Yeah I'll, yeah. I'll have a link for that. The link for the video. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, uh, I'm Jason again. David again. This is Troy. Still Michael. Megan. Uh, we'll see you next week, I guess. We need like a log out or a call sign. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll, figure, we'll yeah. figure this out. We'll figure that out next time. Oh, uh, we'll <laughs> see you next week. Excelsior. <laughs> no. Cut it. Yeah, that part's cut. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to have this whole, the whole thing in. But yeah, but you got to keep Mike's uh, drunk and pregnant are the yeah, same thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just in case you didn't hear Mike said. Drunk and pregnant women are the same. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs>